I survived 100 days on only one heart in hardcore Minecraft. Now, this was by far the most terrifying and nerve-wracking playthrough I have ever done, because pretty much anything in this world can kill me with just one hit. In fact, here's a whole list of stuff that can snuff me out in less than a second. It's pretty much everything in the game, excluding like five things. So uh, yeah, it's going to be quite the experience this time around. So sit back, grab a snack, and let's go. Alright, so here we are in quite possibly the scariest playthrough I think I'll ever do of this game. Because if the wind changes in any direction too much and I catch a slight breeze, then I'm just gonna fall over and die. It's, um, it's not looking too good for me right now, alright? I think that even at this point, a silverfish and, like, a goat, if it does the ram thing, can kill me immediately without any armor. So, that's fun. That's something to look forward to. So I think the first objective is going to be to probably try and get a shield straight off the bat because that is probably going to be the only thing that saves me throughout this entire video, alright? That is going to be the single most OP item we can get. Probably second to a totem of them dying, but I, I don't really like using them because it kind of removes the premise of it, you know, because I, I died in a sense, you know? I don't know, I find them useful, but I also think that in this kind of challenge in itself, it kind of just removes the, 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 the fear level of it, you know? And like, if I get one tapped, it's just like, oh, well, it's fine, I can, I can live, it's fine. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to craft up some stone tools right here real quick, and then we're going to head out in search of some iron. Now, this is really weird to me because I never usually do 100 days videos in, like, vanilla-ish Minecraft. We're not in complete vanilla because I can chop down trees with one, one thwack. Just because it makes my life a thousand times easier. That way, I don't have to spend half the video chopping trees. I can just take the bottom log and, and be good. But yeah, I never really record these videos in vanilla Minecraft, so this is quite alien to me. It's weird having this much space. I've usually got a challenge that kind of inhibits the amount I can move. Okay, we'll grab a little bit of food, and then we'll check any surface level caves that we find that don't go down too far and get too dark to see if there's any iron lurking within. But I think as well, a four or four five block fall i think it is can like insta kill me so you know that's great that's something to look forward to especially while building that's just gonna make things go oh just 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 so much better hello any iron no ghoulies around here i hope okay there's not really much in this cave except you so you know i'm sorry buddy but you shouldn't have been down here I'm also thinking as well, I've never actually done a zero damage playthrough of this game, and this might not be a zero damage playthrough because we might take like half a heart worth of damage. But if it is, then it's a kind of it's two in one, you know, one heart, zero damage. Doesn't really matter if it's one heart if you've got zero damage, but you know, it's two in one, all right? It's two accomplishments. Ooh, there's some like mountainous terrain over there. Any any iron exposed? Oh, and there's a village. Oh, I was gonna say there's a village over there, but it's a rundown village, an abandoned village, so. Maybe not the smartest idea to go and check that out right now. <gasps> Is that some iron? I think that's some iron. Okay. Hopefully no drowns are on the way over here. Hopefully I don't get hit by a puffer fish. I didn't even think about this, but puffer fish can kill me pretty quick as well. I don't know if they do physical damage when you go close to them. I think they spike you. Um, I know that the poison won't kill me. Oh, I almost drowned then. That was... I, I need to pay attention. I really need to pay attention. Um, but no, as I was saying, I, I know that the poison won't kill me. I don't think. But I know. I think that they might be able to if they deal physical damage. I, I don't know. I'm just going to shut up. I'm going to go grab this iron. Okay, let's get a little base of operations situated right here temporarily. We can make a shield and then maybe I'll feel confident enough to take on that village. I, I, I don't really know. I'll grab a little bit more stone as well because we can get a smoker and get this food cooking up. Okay, so now we can throw this in here and go boom. Now, I'm not going to go and make a sword just yet because I think that we might need backup shields with how much we're going to be using them. All right, I'll come back to the smoker to uh, check up on the food later on, but I, tr I want to try and get a bed from this village because I think that that will just make our first night so, so much better. Okay, please have a bed. Oh, there's a bed as well. And some bread. Oh, what what more can you ask for? Okay, beautiful. And we get to watch the sunset wherever it is. I think it's over there. Okay, all right. Well, first day's a success. Right, we'll head to bed. And then in the morning, I'll go and grab my food from the furnace and try and take over this village. Now, just before we go any further into the video, we are getting so, so close to 200,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. And to celebrate this milestone, I am super excited to announce that as of this video going live, we now have merch available for the channel. I've been working on this for a good while now, and I am so happy with how it's come out. It looks so good. And if you're interested in getting some for yourself, then there'll be a link in the top right of the screen and down in the description where you can go and choose from a few different designs on hoodies, shirts, hats, and even some stickers. I'll also be doing a giveaway for it on this video. So if you want to get some free merch, drop a comment down below. I'll reply to you, and you can get some free stuff. 
But yeah, thank you all so, so much for giving me the opportunity to do this. I love and appreciate you all so, so much. Um, and hopefully you like the merch. But anyways, let's get back into the video. Okay, not a bad day one. Not a bad day one at all. That was uh, pretty nice. Nice little bed on the first night. I wasn't expecting that. Hello. Ooh, a blast furnace. Hello. Gimme, gimme. For free, I'll take it. Hello, buddy. Hi. How's it going? You're going to be my first, uh, first accomplishment in this world right here. Bap. Bap. There we go. All right. Our first kill was on a helpless little zombie villager trapped in a cobweb. Lovely. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Okay, I'm going to grab this bed, and then I'm going to go over, check up on my beef, and then, um, I don't really know. Probably finish off looting this village, and then continue on out to see what we can find anywhere. Okay, so you're all cooked up. Let's grab you, and then we'll head back to the village, grab, I think, the hay bales are probably a good shout to get, and then we will head out and see what we can find. Okay, that should do for now. We've got quite a lot of stuff. That village was exceedingly helpful. Um, now we just want to head out and see what we can find, such as this ruin portal right next to the village. Smite. F Ooh, damn. Okay, I'll take anything I can get at this point. Beautiful. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. Hello. Um, I'm also just realizing now that the caves in 1.19 are really big and um, yeah. I, I'm going to end up taking fall damage in them. 100%. I can guarantee that. How are we looking down there? That is looking terrifying. Oh, right. Well, I have no intentions of going down there just yet, so I'm not really too worried about it. I really think that the best course of action is to try and find a village first. That way, we can just get a little base of operations set up and have like our little protector of an iron golem whilst we are exceedingly weak in our current state. I don't know, but I'll look over this way. If we don't find a village over this way, then I'll just head up a temporary base of operations myself and just um, be a little bit more cautious. Okay, well, I can confidently say that there is not a village over here. So in this case, what I'll do is I can set up a little temporary... We'll do a little temporary base over here in this little mound right here. Boom, there we go. It's on the wrong way and everything, but you know what? It works for now make you into an ingot which oh you know what i'll use this on a pickaxe i'll use this on a pickaxe we should be okay and now let's start making a little mine down here see what we can find Ooh, hello okay this can now potentially go from pretty good to very bad exceedingly quickly okay so we need to be super super vigilant super careful we don't want to risk anything right here Okay, I don't really want to test my luck going much further down. There's a lot of iron down here, though, so I kind of want to grab up as much of it as I can. Okay, and this little venture down here landed us with 42 iron. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm not going to risk my luck anymore. I'm going to head back up, and then we're going to spend the rest of the night smelting down this iron. Okay, well, I said the rest of the night, but the sun is literally just on its way up, and that is a that is a beautiful sunrise right there. That makes the rest of the world just seem much better. Now, what I'm thinking I'm going to do with this iron is I will deck myself out with armor. It does seem pretty pointless, if I'm correct. I can't still tank anything with iron armor because the mobs will deal multiple hearts of damage. So I don't really know what the purpose in me doing this is, but I don't know. Maybe it's the placebo effect and I feel a little bit more confident in myself. Okay, while the iron is smelting, I'm going to be exceedingly cautious to make sure that no mobs have survived the night. And I'm going to come over here and grab some of this coal as well as that little bit of iron right next to me. Oh, there's. do you see the iron up there? There's so much iron up there. Is it really worth it though? Probably not. We already have like quite a bit. Let me deck myself out real quick. There we go. I already have some boots, so I'll just leave them for now. They're really not doing too much to be fair. Let me just, yeah, let me get rid of them. I'll make some boots. I think I can afford the four iron. All right, and off we go. Thank you, little house. You served me well. Ooh, God, that was close. I almost threw myself down that hole. That would have gone very badly. Is there anything at all around here? It's literally just planes upon planes upon planes. <gasps> oh, is that is that an actual village? That's an actual village. It looks like an actual village to me. Some apples. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we already have a librarian here. Hello, buddy. What you got? Lure two. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, and what's in here? No di- Oh, God. Oh, God. I just made a load of- Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I understand. 
Okay, so we've got a nice little base of operations situated in the village now. I think what the main goal going forward from here now is going to be is to try and get these guys to probably trade me... I'm thinking full sets of armor and then deal with specific bucks later. Now, one thing we do need to do before we can actually start trading is to stack up on resources. So let me real quick go grab a bucket and then I think tomorrow we can focus on getting a little farm area set up for these guys. Probably probably right around here to be fair or is there a cave right underneath me oh no that's fine yeah we can set up a farm area little little farm area right around here day four started out with me clearing out an area and building up a little starter farm so i could begin stocking up on trading materials to use with the villagers so what i do want to do now is i want to take the hay bales that i have and i want to break them down into wheat and then hopefully you yes you trade me wheat good guy good fellow right here what a guy absolute legend okay well we're gonna go and grab a couple more of these hay bales then okay and i think that's pretty much all they have to offer me which is quite lackluster i'm not gonna lie i was expecting a couple more these guys really don't have too much stuff oh and you're completely out of trades as well okay that 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 sucks so i think other than trading for wheat i don't really know what today's objectives are because we've made the farm already that's gone good and maybe set up a sugarcane farm too because that's gonna be super super helpful and then I don't know, probably head over to that forest, I think, for the rest of the day and chop down a whole bunch of trees because we are pretty low on wood. Okay, now that the sugar cane is planted down, let's head over here, grab a little bit of wood, and then probably end up calling it a day because the sun, by the looks of it, is on its way down. Okay, so today I kind of want to go and maybe trap a couple of these villagers in a house uh, and make them farmers, just so then we've got a couple set up for when we actually want to get trades done. Okay, so I know there's a guy up here without a job. I think he's in this house, I'm pretty sure. Hello, buddy. Are you up here? Yes, you are. Hello. Um, right. You don't want that job. You're a farmer now. You're a farmer now. You don't want this job anymore. This is my job. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to see if you, my friend, have refreshed your trades, which you seem to have. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, my God. You took everything I had. Holy. Okay. I guess I'll go harvest the other hay bales then. Jeez. Okay. Hello, buddy. I have some hay bales to trade with you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, that's the guy. I, I, I need a... I need a Fletcher as well because I need sticks. And I can also buy arrows off of him. Uh, do we even have any flint? I have one flint. Okay. And uh, no gravel around. Okay, right. Well, new objective, find some gravel. That gravel? That is gravel. Yes. Okay, don't need to go down a cave. Flint, please. I just need one. There we go. Lovely. Okay, and then we craft one of you up. Come here, good fellow. You are no longer uh, a potion guy, a, a brewmaster, or a cleric. A cleric, not a brewmaster. Uh, you are no longer that job, though. You are now a Fletcher who will trade me sticks for emeralds. Lovely. Thank you so much. Now I need to go and get a whole bunch more wood. Now I spent the rest of the afternoon just chopping down a whole bunch of trees to use as trading materials for the newly acquired Fletchers. Okay, so pretty good day. We've got 45 emeralds plus 16 in there. 61 total. Beautiful. All right. Now I am low on coal, so let me just throw... I guess I'll just throw 32 of these in here and then just call it a day with that. Make a couple more torches and then I think I might spend the night working on a little mine just down here in this little like crevice area, wherever it is down here. Oh yeah, this will work perfect for a mine. So I am going to go and real quick make a door so that I can cover behind me if there's any ghoulies that spawn in. Okay, do you want to know how much stuff we found last night? Right, I don't think you're ready for this. A whopping six iron and two copper, as well as a little bit of coal that I got as well. But yeah, this is this is the night hall. I really didn't find much and then had to cower in the cave down there because there was like four skeletons up top. So uh, yeah, not a good night at all. But hey, at least we have a little bit more coal now. So I think today we're going to do our daily routine of trading with some villagers and then we'll see where the day takes us. Hello, friend. Why have you not? There we go. I'm going to say, my guy, keep your trades refreshed, man. Ooh, uh, I'll trade with him as well just to get these because I'm hoping they can get an arrow trade from him. Arrow trade, perhaps? No, you're getting pretty poo-poo trades today, dude. It's not good. Okay, we'll harvest you real quick. Plant a couple more down. There we go. How are we looking on uh, leather? I think I picked up a few pieces on the way over here from a load of cows. And we also have books in here. We have, what, four shelves there. And then there's no more up top. Okay, and what was your trade again? Was it, yeah, it was lure two. Okay, so nothing too great. Okay, 64 plus seven emeralds. That's enough to level up like an armorer once, right? Hello, my friend. You're the next to join my uh, circus of traders. There you go, boom. Get, get that, there we go. 
Yeah, so armorers are here, and I don't have any bloody emeralds on me. Hello, friend. You're going to absolutely destroy my emerald supply, but it's fine. I need you to level up anyway. Okay, and now you're going to give me a good deal. You're going to give me a good deal, right? That's what you want to do? Eh, uh, that's okay, but the level up is terrible. Oh my god, I don't understand why the bells are so expensive. Okay, buy a whole bunch of the chainmail boots. There we go. Now you're going to give me an even better deal, right? Even better deal. Oh, perfect deal right there. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, come on, come on. Keep them rolling, keep them rolling. Keep the offers coming. Oh, okay. Look at that. Okay, so now he's going to be fully maxed out, I think. Yeah, okay. So protection two, fire protection, blast protection. I would really prefer feather falling, I think, on my boots. So, uh, do, 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 throw the crap in here for now. We'll get some more trades done tomorrow. And I think tonight... Oh, I was going to say I want to work on an auto smelter, but I don't have the iron for that. All right, well, I guess I'll spend the night mining once again. At least make it useful, you know? I didn't actually go too deep down. Um, I literally hit deep slate and then thought, you know what? I'm literally finding nothing. I'll go back up. So hopefully we find some good stuff tonight. Oh, hello. Little cave right here. Little cave right here. Okay. Throw that down and then cautiously approach. See if there's anything around. Okay. Amazing. Wonderful. It's uh, kind of a pointless cave. Exactly what I wanted to find down here. Okay, amazing. I'm literally a bedrock, and I found the smallest cave known to man. Okay, well, another amazing night spent mining and finding absolutely nothing. After returning from yet another pretty uneventful night down in the caves, I ended up spotting a zombie raid on the village and uh, just kind of sat back and relaxed and let the iron golems do their thing because this village has like a whole bunch of them for some reason. I really don't know why there's so many. Okay, so today's objective is I want to make a couple more fletches. So I think I have some gravel in here. Do I? Do I? Yes, I do. So yeah, we want to get a little bit of flint up in here and then we can make a couple more fletches and get a bunch more stick trades on the go. This is really weird doing this many trades for me um, at this point in the game. I don't usually focus heavily on them straight off the bat, but you know, caves are scary, all right? Caves are scary. To be fair, I do actually want to go and check out a cave. So we will look for one probably later today. Let's be real. We'll go and search the plains for any open top caves. Okay, so I've got four more flint. That means that we can get two more fletches. Okay, lovely. Also, whilst we're heading over here, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to you all for the support in the last video. It was absolutely insane, and I'm super, super glad that you guys like this new style. I uh, really appreciate it. It really means a lot. And on the topic of things I appreciate, this cave would be nice if it went somewhere. Okay, there really wasn't much in that cave other than two pieces of iron. So, you know what? I'll take it, but I'm not necessarily happy with it. Where are all the caves around here, man? There's absolutely none around this village. I don't want to fall in that lava. Oh, <gasps> dogs. Uh, I don't have any bones, unfortunately. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I can't get you guys right now. But do you lead anywhere? Hello? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I see you down there, buddy. I see you. There he goes. Look at that. Okay, down we go. This is by far the scariest thing I've done so far. Okay, so there's a creeper, a spider, and a zombie over there now. Okay, that, that evolved pretty quickly, didn't it? I guess I could just snipe them from back here, right? Okay, zombie, where'd you go? This is actually so scary. There's nothing even here right now, but that zombie disappeared, so I don't know where he's gone. If I hear the rattle of bones down here, I'm gone. I I'm gone. I'm not dealing with skeletons right now. It's it's just not worth it. They can snipe me. I can snipe them. It, it just doesn't seem like a fun situation. Judging from what I can see up there in the little cracks to the surface, I think it's nighttime now. So we probably want to stay down here. As unsafe as it is, it's probably safer than the surface right now okay oh i heard i heard bones <gasps> no oh no there's a skeleton down there uh oh okay we'll not go down there then we'll not go down there that's tempting fate that's not that's not happening i'm telling you if you think i'm being overly cautious you try you try doing this on one heart all right it's absolutely terrifying i i, I don't know why it's like our craft wasn't even this bad it's so scary literally if i stub my toe i literally die that's it I, I, there's no coming back from it like for example i'd probably usually jump off from about this height but nope can't do that anymore oh oh we finally took damage that was our first bit of damage right there half a heart oh my god i've never been more scared there we go. How many arrows have we got left? Four. That's not good. I'm not too worried about creepers. I can just, like, lure them back here and then they can go kabloomy. Like, that's not that scary. If anything, I think creepers are the least scary mob in all of this. Skeletons are by far the, the apex predator in this world. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough iron for now. I'm going to make my way back to the surface and probably cower away until the sun rises. 
Okay, slightly terrifying night. I did actually get hit by a skeleton on the way back up my waterfall, but I stopped recording by that point. But he only did half a heart to me, so he didn't he didn't one tap me for some reason. I think he like, oh, it's because it hit me through the water. Okay, I was really confused, but I thought I was dead. Okay, right. So let me grab these four flint. Uh, then we need to go and hunt down two more villagers to make fletchers and buy an absolute ton of arrows. Oh, we also need to go and grab a, a bunch of wood as well, but that's you know, that's secondary. Ah, <laughs> now you're stuck in there forever. Forever! Right, buddy. You are not going to be a cleric. You are going to be a Fletcher. Yeah, look at that. Wow, much better job. Much better. <gasps> yes! Okay, so he has an arrow trade, which is amazing. I don't really have any emeralds, though, so that's going to have to wait a minute. Use my usual technique to get out of these places. Just throw a ladder down. <laughs> okay, and then who else can we lure away to trap in a house forever to make a Fletcher? Ooh, librarian. Uh, I can sacrifice a librarian for now. Goodbye, your librarian profession. Hello, your Fletcher. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I accidentally hit the villager. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, now he's... Oh, he's, to be fair, his traits aren't too bad, but the Iron Golems are going to be angry now, right? Oh, no, 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 no. This couldn't have gone much worse. Is he angry at me? Hello, buddy. Hello. Hello. Look, I didn't mean to, okay? Are you... I think we're good. I think we're chill. I think he's not angry at me. Okay, so now that those boyos don't want to absolutely decimate me right now, um, let's get some trades done with you, my good sir. Sorry about the beating I gave you earlier. It was it really wasn't meant to happen. I'm sorry. Uh, and now we're pretty much out of sticks, so let's go and grab a whole bunch more wood and get some more trades done. Ooh, but Enderman died right here. Dropped a pearl. Nice. Okay, that should be enough for wood for now. We've got just over four stacks total, including the birch. So let me go trade some more with this guy until he's out. I'll go trade with the other guy, and then I'll go buy some arrows off the final guy. Okay, is that... You literally stole all those from me. Oh my god, buddy. Okay, arrows. Yes, there we go. Oh my god, we've got so many arrows. Oh, I didn't even notice this whole ravine right here. There's literally a whole ravine with water in that I could have been down, and instead of looking for those caves. I... Okay, I'm an idiot. Absolute idiot. Now, if we could try and find, uh, oh, actually, no, if we could go and use the librarian, I'll try doing this tonight, because we'll probably go to bed, but if we can try and use the librarian, right, and get power four or five for the bow, and then make an anvil, we can absolutely shred, like, anything in here. Okay, where are you gonna go to bed, buddy? This house right here. Okay, perfect. I know where I'm spending my night. Okay, there's a few things roaming around outside now, so I'm going to head to bed and then see what we can get up to with him in the morning. All right, so after taking the iron out of the furnace, we now have precisely a stack, which is pretty good. Uh, we don't have anything in here. So I'm going to go check up on... Oh, no! Whew! All right. Not fun. Completely d did not know he was outside. What a lovely way to start off the day. Okay, house took a, a minor amount of structural damage. Okay, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, why are you still a librarian, my guy? Where is your profession block? I'm gonna go and literally hunt around this entire village to see if this guy even have, has a profession block. I don't believe he does. I really don't think he does anymore. Ah, maybe. No, I stole this one too. Um, are you profession to my smoker? Because if so, let me remove that real quick and then you can become a lovely librarian. And now you should be without a job, so you should become a librarian. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Boom, come get it. Psh, 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 psh. There we go. Go on. Ah, ah, ah. Now you're stuck in there, buddy. Now, I spent the entirety of day nine trying to get this absolute devil of a man to trade me power for my bow. Now, when I say I spent all day here, what I really mean is I spent all day and night here because this absolute fiend would just not give me anything close to what I wanted. Instead, he gave me mending about five times along with protection for an infinity. Now, you know what? I get that you might be saying to yourself, well, Poppers, infinity's a really good enchant. Why don't you want it? And the quick answer is I can get a whole bunch of arrows from the villagers extremely easily. So it kind of makes it irrelevant. And I didn't really see the point in buying it over power. Anyways, back on track. Uh, I spent like 20 minutes in here just breaking and placing this lectern over and over and over again, getting Bane of Arthropods and Luck of the Sea repeatedly back to back. And well, let me just show you what effect and things that this does to a man, okay? It made me go insane. Please, I've been here all day, my guy. Please. God damn. Bane of Arthropods, man. It's Bane of Arthropods. Look at the sea. Bane of Arthropods. Look at the sea. Look at the sea. Look at the sea. I, there's no luck here, buddy. There's no luck here. I swear 
on everything in this entire universe. If you give me Luck of the Sea one more time, one more time, I will make the remainder of your pitiful existence in this world a living hell. Okay? A living hell. You're taunting me with luck. There is no such thing right now, alright? I am having the worst of it. Oh, you son of a- So, after losing all hope of ever getting what I wanted, and for the sake of my own sanity, I decided to leave it there once the sun began to rise, because this guy was literally just scamming me for my time, and my 93rd birthday was just around the corner, considering how much time I'd just wasted on this guy. Ah, duh. Just because I'm leaving, okay? Just because I'm leaving, you absolute fiend of a man, doesn't mean that our business is done. I'm going to return, and if you don't give me them trades, I'm telling you right now, if you like the fish so much, you'll be swimming with them! Anyways, on a brighter note, we do have an absolute ton of arrows now, so we can explore a little bit more when we want to. Uh, but for now, I need to focus on the farm a little bit. It's been being, uh, it's been neglected recently. I did want to have this thing, you know, doing really well and thriving, but I just completely forgot about it, considering I was trading sticks instead. Okay, I do plan on building a house somewhat soon, alright? I don't want to be living in this village forever. It is a state, it's not very, you know expandable all right it's it's not really worth my time okay i'm only here for the armor Ooh, i can buy <gasps> oh massive okay right so we'll grab that and then if we do a little bit more trading we can get two of those we can get protection three then we can get another two we get protection four Ooh. okay i don't think we'll get that today but we can definitely get protection three. Oh, doggies um i don't still don't think i have any bones unfortunately i'm so sorry we will i will try and get you though i will try and get you at some point soon so uh we'll go and do some stick trades get some more emeralds and then grab that second chest plate Okay, so 47 is enough to go and grab the other chest plate. I'll go grab that. We'll combine it together, which will probably eat up a little chunk of my XP. And then I guess tonight we'll try and grab some bones. I'll try and I'll try and snipe some skellies from a distance and grab some bones. That way we can hopefully try and get those dogs. Okay, so chest plate one, chest plate two. It's only three XP. That's not too bad. There we go. All right, then throw that bad boy on. There we go go uh i don't know if that's actually going to do much but i feel a little bit more powerful Ooh, we could do with a weapon smith actually so that's let's let's grab let's grab one of those real quick i don't know if we have the villagers though isn't there there's two trapped in this house over here right yes there is okay if i go and grab a couple more beds this can be the temporary villager breeder then over here okay so we're gonna line a couple beds up up top here All right throw you down there and then throw you down like there why can you not use stairs Right, and then I'll throw some of these down. Will you? Oh, you're doing the creepy bed thing all the time. They do this all the time. Okay, pretty good day. Pretty good day. I'll spend some of the night sorting out this storage because it's an absolute mess. So what I'm thinking of today is I probably want to go out, right? And we just want to check out the surrounding area, okay? See what... Oh, God! Oh, God! Run, run, run! Oh, my God, run! Oh, that was scary. Okay, that was scary. He's, he's going to burn now, but oh, my days. That was a little bit scary. But as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by that bag of bones. Um, I want to go out and check around the surrounding area, which to me looks a lot like ocean. So I went to take a look around the area, but clearly not enough because I completely missed the fact that there was a ton of land just right behind me. And for some reason, I just thought that there was ocean around for some reason. I don't know. I'm just an idiot. But anyway, I actually ended up using my stupidity to my advantage and decided to go and grab myself some kelp for a bone meal farm that I was planning on making soon. However, after grabbing the kelp, I spent the majority of day 11 just rambling about bone meal farms. And I have no clue why I was so passionate about them, but <laughs> I guess I was. But anyways. I decided to stop going on about the farms and instead actually went to get some trading done. So I spent the rest of the evening doing some more stick trading with the Fletchers and managed to get scammed again by the guy I hit earlier. So I guess he still has a problem with me and to be fair, right, I understand I did end up hitting him in the face or the back of the head or something with my axe, so I'd be pretty upset too. So after getting swindled for a whole bunch of my sticks, I went and did as many trades as possible with the toolsmith before heading to bed and calling it a day. Okay, we got some pretty good trading done last night. I uh, do want to combine a couple of these axes. And by that, I literally mean doing it once because I don't have enough to actually level it up anymore. But yeah, last night was pretty good. We got some good trades going. He's leveled up a little bit, but like the axes and stuff are a little bit pricey. However, he does have like a Fortune 1 iron pick and I'm very interested in that. 
Okay, so the plan for today is I'm going to grab a couple more sticks real quick, and then I'm going to grab the fortune diamond, uh, iron pickaxe that that guy's selling over there, and then hopefully combine it with another one. So we need to get, what, 28? Uh, and then we can go down to the mines and see if we can find any diamonds. Ooh, hello. Is that a cave? That looks like a cave to me. Okay, maybe we'll not go down in the ravine. Oh, yeah, we're going down there. That goes straight down to Deep Slate, right? Okay, so we go boom, boom. Fortune 2. That is expensive. Woof. All right. Yeah, okay. All right, let's head down the mines. I'll bring a little bit more arrows with me just for if. Um, and then let's head over to this cave. Uh, okay, does that look safe? It does look kind of safe. Not the safest place, I wouldn't say, but safe-ish. Okay. Very carefully, we'll head down. Very <gasps> oh my god, this is perfect. Beautiful. All right, the first uh, big cave we go down in, we get some diamonds. I hate getting one veins around here, man. It sucks. Oh, ooh, hello. Two veins, sorry, two veins. There we go. All right, two diamonds now. Woo! Now, I know strip mining isn't the most efficient way, but I'm hoping that I can just strip mine into a cave. Like, I'm not really expecting to find anything on my way there maybe some iron or something like redstone but um i hope that there's a cave just directly in my path all those diamonds will do perfectly okay no that's yeah that's <laughs> that's fine oh my god okay how many we got from here this is definitely enough for a pickaxe 10 okay all right well i guess we'll continue a little bit further down here um it is getting a little bit late in the day so i'll probably spend the night down here mining in a straight line Hoping to find a cave. Oh, look, there's the redstone I was on about. Anyways, I'll see you a lot in the morning. If nothing else exciting happens tonight, I'll probably just be mining in a straight line for like the next 10 minutes. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh, that was going to be it. That was going to be it. That was it. That was the end of my playthrough right there. That was supposed to kill me there. That was it. Okay. Did not expect to find a giant lava cavern anywhere within here, but I'm not going to complain either. Also, if you're wondering what resource park makes the ores shimmer like that, um, it's called, like, Shimmering Ore, I think. It's really cool. I love it. It's uh, it's really nice. I'm going to use it, like, all the time now. It looks really good. All right. Well, this cave was uh, eventful. I know it continues a little bit over there, but we'll check that out at a later date. For now, I'm probably going to wait out the night down here and then head back home in the morning. So, with our newly acquired diamonds, what we're going to do is I'm going to go make a diamond pick and maybe a diamond sword? I don't really know. So we'll make our pickaxe, we'll head straight back down, and we'll go and grab uh, enough obsidian to get an enchantment table and an, I was going to say an end portal then, uh, a nether portal. There we go, right. Diamond pick acquired. Do we want to make anything else? I could make some diamond leggings, but I can also buy them, so uh, we'll do uh, maybe an axe and a sword would be a, a good call here. Yeah, we'll do an axe and a sword. We'll do an axe and a sword. There we go. Ooh, obsidian shines as well with this resource pack. I didn't know that. Do it again. Shine again. Yeah, wow, look at that. Wow. Okay, finally. Off back up top we go, and then it's... I think we'll make the enchantment table. We'll set up a nether portal temporarily, but I'm not going to light it or go through yet because I'm not an idiot. And then we'll also kind of get started on the bookshelves for enchanting because we're going to need quite a few of those. I'm pretty sure we're good on leather for now. I think we've got quite a bit of it, um, and then we just need to farm out a little bit more sugar cane, which also shouldn't take too long. Okay, so how are we looking on leather? We've got 27 leather and 42 sugarcane, which if I break that down into paper, bring that up here, we should have then 14 books, which uh, is not enough, I'm pretty sure. Now, I know that there is uh, some bookshelves around here. I'll just go and grab them from the libraries. I think there's one over here. Okay, so that should have given us eight bookshelves plus the four we have, which is 12. I don't think that that's enough for full enchants. Okay, and now we have the perfect amount of diamonds and books left over. Boom, there we go. All right. So I'll throw these in here for now. Oh, we didn't get any iron. Oh, okay. That is a uh, slight problem that I am going to go and solve right now by going down into this ravine and mining iron tonight. Love iron. Oof. Ow, the second time. Rip the no damage playthrough. Well, I got back to the surface and it was already turning day, so uh, welcome to day 13, I guess. So now that we've got all this stuff kind of situated, I probably want to go and see if I can grab a little bit more sugar cane so we can get this enchantment area set up. And then it'll be time to start focusing on XP and maybe even a little bit more trading again. Um, I'm going to go real quick and grab these sheep here because I want another bed for the villagers. I could just steal one, but why steal one when I can kill things? Oh, I still need to get these wolves. I forget every single time. All right, tonight... 
tonight I'm staying up and I'm sniping skeletons. I'm gonna, it's in the back of my mind now, right? I'm gonna actually stay up. I'm gonna get some dogs tomorrow. Always forgetting, man. It's gonna get to like day 99. I'll be like, oh, I finally have some bones so I can get those dogs. They'll have died by then. Okay, so we'll throw another bed down for these villagers over here. And then I think we could stack up on some wood for not even just trading, but to actually start on that little farm build, I think would be a good idea. But for now, before we go and do any tree chopping, let me just grab... Where is that enchantment table? Hello? I want to see what enchants I can get. I think it's either 28 or 30 with 14 bookshelves. Yeah, like that's not going to be 30, is it? No, 28. Okay. Not bad, though. Not bad. If I can get... Oh, efficiency 4 for 28. Ooh, that is tempting. Okay. I'm just going to go and chop a couple trees down, okay? Do a little bit of trading. Do a little bit of trading. And then uh, hopefully we've got 28 levels so I can get efficiency 4 to chop more trees down. It's a vicious cycle. Okay, very quickly realizing right now that I'm probably not going to be level 33. Uh, not level 33, level 28 by the end of today before the sun goes down. So we'll do what we can. And then when the sun goes down, I'm going to kill skellies because I need that dog. Ooh, I might stand corrected. Uh, the arrow trades might just pull me over if I can hurry up and get them real quick. Let's have a look. 26. Ooh, I don't think we'll have enough emeralds. Uh, okay, well, I'll just go and buy a couple crossbows off this guy then. That should pull me over to 28. And then we'll throw the axe in there and call it a day. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. And you know what? I'll buy that last one because I can. Okay, boom, boom. Boom! Efficiency 4 and Silk Touch. I don't know why I'd need Silk Touch on an axe, but it is what it is. Now, once night fell, I spent some time out in the wilds, aka literally just outside the village because I'm terrified of everything, but I went and killed a few skellies so that I may use their bones to finally tame a dog. Okay, it is finally time for us to go and grab one of these wolfy boys down here. Now, I actually hope that they're still here. I hope that they haven't despawned. I hope that you despawn, though. Go away. Not your friend at all. Don't want to be seen near you. Stay away. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is a problem. Uh-oh. Hit him. Ah, oh, he's done for. Okay, there we go. Two more bones as well. Lovely. All right, doggies, are you are you around here still? Hello? Did they leave? Oh, no, it's there. Okay, come here. Come here, buddy. I have seven bones. Seven bones. Yeah, look, see? One, two, three. Oh my god, you greedy little guy. Five wouldn't have been enough for you. He took seven. He took a whole lot. Okay, well, at least we have a dog now. I would have liked to get two so that I could breed them and have, like, infinite. But I guess, you know, it is what it is. The first one was too greedy. All right, well, that's today's goal already accomplished. I kind of want to keep him, I was going to say safe, but I'm not really going to be fighting too many things right now. So I'll just, I'll bring him with me. Why not? There's no, no harm in that. Uh, you okay down there, buddy? You look a little bit trapped. Let me heal you up real quick, and then we'll get you out of there. All right, so I actually want to start work on building up a house area very soon. And for that, we're going to need quite a lot of wood because the house design I'm going for requires it. So I think I might spend the rest of today gathering up as much wood as possible. That way, we've got enough to build up the house and do some more trades over the following days without running out and having to come back over here and get even more. So I spent the majority of the day once again tearing through this poor, poor forest to stack up on a bunch more wood to use on my house. Now, I did have a little bit in my chests, but it was nowhere near enough to make any percent of progress on the house. So, uh, yeah, time well spent, I'd say. Okay, all right. That should, uh, that should definitely be enough wood for now. Um, it did take a decent toll on my axe. <laughs> There's no forest left, um, but it's all good because it auto plants saplings, so it'll all grow back soon enough. But that is... I'd say that's enough wood to start get started on the house and uh, get a couple of trays going as well. Yeah, okay. Day well spent. I'm happy with this. I need to go and, like, make more chests and stuff because I do not have storage. Oh, hello. Hello, buddy. What you got for me? Uh, what? What is this? Ew, my guy. That is not good. You're giving me atrocious things right there. What is the point of that? <sighs> well, so much for me working on the house today. I just looked at the reference image I'm going to use, um, and it needs spruce wood. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go and make a boat, and we're going to go and head over that ocean to see if there's any spruce wood over there, because it's better than just running across land, possibly falling into holes and dying. I guess it's out to see we go. If we didn't have enough ocean in the last video. Oh, there's a shipwreck over there. Okay, we'll go check this out then. Slight little detour. Slight little detour. You know what? I'm not too fussed about the ship. Um, I just want to be able to build my house. Okay, I can come back and get the ship later if I want. I'm not dealing with it right now. So I guess we'll just follow the river round then. Uh, see where it leads. Hopefully to some spruce trees would be very nice. 
Okay, and by the looks of this, I think that we're heading back out to sea by the looks of it. In reality, we do only need one spruce sapling, but uh, I don't know if you can tell right here, but there's, um, there's none around. There's, there's, there's nothing around, actually, except a couple squid. Not even anything in the ocean, either. It's literally just kelp. Just kelp everywhere. That's an ocean monument. We don't want to go there. Do not want to be getting wrapped up with those types of people. Oh, spruce trees! Yes! Okay. All right, just keep a wide berth from that monument. We need to kind of remember how far off we're going to the side here because the river I need to follow is, like, in the middle down there back on that land. It's a good thing I brought my diamond axe with me because we're going to need a lot of this wood. All right, that should be enough spruce logs. Um, if it's not, then we've got the 57 saplings to boot, so it'll be it'll be fine. Um, I don't want to chop down any more wood, though, so we're going to head back home, and then tomorrow we can start work on the house. Now, after yesterday's dilemma, we have a whole bunch of spruce wood now, which means that we should, hopefully, be able to get to work on our house today. So I'm going to grab all this, I'm going to grab the oak wood, and then we're going to go and find a little area to start building things up. I'm thinking, like, right, just, like, right here, where that tall grass begins, like, this area is, like, almost perfect, I'd say. It's it's real good, real clear. I don't have to do too much landscaping. It's pretty good. It's close to the village that is probably going to get torn down within the coming days. And instead of having the village there, we'll have, like, a, a villager breeder, you know, take their freedom from them because, uh, well, I need trades. Because we all know that trades are way more important than their free will. But anyways, on this note, let's throw this crafting table down right here. And let's get to work on the baseline kind of outline schematic of the house. Now, I spent the next couple of days building up the frame and the outline of the house. Whilst also being exceedingly careful and watching my step every second to try my best to not fall off and insta-die, you know, down to the fact that I only still have one heart. Don't know why I just said still, though. It's not like I'm going to get any more during this playthrough. It's it's set to one. But nonetheless, I think I made some pretty good progress over these couple days and uh, managed not to die. So it was uh, all around a win-win. Day 19 was another house building day because I realized that I'd built it slightly wrong and a few things were off by a few blocks. So I ended up dedicating a good chunk of the day just to repositioning it and correcting the mistakes. And once they were all cleared up, I actually got back to working on the house instead of correcting mistakes I made the day prior. Okay, what a busy couple days that was. Um, I did make a couple mistakes on the house, so took a little bit longer, all right? Got a little bit janky near the end, but we've got it all fixed up now, and that's how it should look. Or at least for now, that's how it should look. It's not going to keep looking like that. So the guy we want to level up today is going to be the uh, toolsmith, because I want to try and get um, like a diamond axe off of him, because it's just it's the best way to make money right now. All right, buddy. Uh, you are, oh god, they're expensive, those, I'll just, I think I'll buy the emeralds, yeah, and then you're gonna give me, what, some good trades, some good trades, diamond axe, oh, that is beautiful, that's exactly what I wanted, look at that, oh my days, if I buy two of those, we've got efficiency three, oh, and we've got a diamond shovel two, I will take it, oh my god, look at that, so, is it cheaper this way, nope, it's cheaper the other way, there we go, okay, so, now we've got that out of the way, I should have enough paper and enough books to make a bookshelf to finally max out the enchantment table. They go there. I hear a skeleton below me. I think he's in this like little cave right here. He is indeed in this cave right here. Oh, Woo. okay. So let me just throw these down. Boom, boom, boom. And now we should be getting level 30 enchants. I think for tonight, I'm going to head back down the mines. I'm going to go into these caves over here by the ravine because they were very good to me the other day. And uh, we're just going to go and see what we can find down there. Maybe get a little bit more iron. Maybe find a couple more diamonds. Who knows? Um, so I shall let you know if I find anything useful that's not this zombie trying to kill me. Um, and if not, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Okay, so you know what? Nighttime mining was not very eventful, all right? I found like a couple pieces of iron. They're in the furnace smelting down. It was not, um, it was not fun at all. There was really nothing down there except a couple bits of coal and a whole bunch of zombies that just kept getting in my way. So uh, yeah, last night was not a good one. So now I'm thinking I want to grab this obsidian. I want to grab some flint if we have any. I don't think we do. Then we'll build just a temporary portal next to the house. Hopefully no ghoulies come out of it. Um, but then we can just head in and see basically where our spawn is. I'm not really wanting to be too brave, but I've realized that I'm going to have to go into the nether to get a fire resistance potion. 
which is going to really help with dealing with Blaze. So I kind of just have to bite the bullet and go in. I'm not going to lie. Okay. My favorite biome ever. Amazing. Amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better spawn. Oh my god, beautiful. We're in a basalt delta. I'm not going in there. I'm not. That's not happening. No, 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 no. I'm not. No, I'm not doing a basalt delta, man. I hate them. I heard a ghast immediately. It's not happening. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I guess I'll cover the plan a little bit more in depth then. So I'm building the house over there, right? And then I want kind of like a, a path kind of dealio coming out here. Uh, we can have like the villager breeder maybe over there or over there. Um, have a farm spanning out across this kind of valley area that are soon to be valley area when the village is gone And then we can have other things just dotted around depending on how I'm feeling and what I want to build However thinking about it now I uh, Kind of need to get over the fear of basalt delta. So we're just going back in we're going back in this is probably a stupid idea But we're going back in I'm going against everything everything. I want to do right here. I'm going against it and there we go Okay, that's not too bad. Is it that's not too bad at all? Now, the Soul Sand Valley's over there, and then there's a Crimson, just normal biome over there with what looks to be a Bastion in there. Just see a little bit of it uh, spawned in at the bottom. So, to get to there, we could probably go through this way, I think, a little bit. Okay, this is going to be fine. This is going to be fine. This worked out a lot better than I was expecting it to. Now, I do want to find a fortress within a reasonable distance, but I'll also just let us get our bearings in here and actually get a path over before worrying about that. Uh, of course, the 1.9... Oh, there we go. It's gone. Okay, I was about to complain about the 1.19 glitch where the blocks disappear, but it's back. Oh, God, I hear Mr. Stay Puff. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello, buddy. That's gonna... Boom? No? No blow up? I live to see another day go away well you look you're scaring me buddy you're scaring me i'm seeing you running around you know doing these swerves doing these these evades these maneuvers i don't like it oh god i don't like that even more though okay can i ah come on come on big boy come on you crying marshmallow oh there he goes he's down he's down all right thank god um, oh there's a warped biome over there amazing uh ruined portal not really too interested in that that's pretty good over there. That's pretty good. Okay, well, I'm happy with the progress we've made tonight. I will come back in here once we've got a few more blocks to start bridging with, um, and then we'll go and look for a fortress. Um, so probably head over to the blue biome and hope there's one over there. I don't know whether or not I want to go take on that Bastion at any point. I might do later, but as it stands for things right now, hello, buddy. Can I get past, please? Can I please get past, please? Thank you. But yeah, as it stands with things right now, uh, I, I'm not going anywhere near that Bastion. I, I know what's in there, and I'm not dealing with it. Plus, uh, the pigments can have crossbows too, so that's just, yeah, no, I'm probably actually never going to go do that. Okay, so today I'm thinking that I want to make my goal to kind of clear off this mound that I've got in front of my house and level it out a little bit. Um, so I probably want to go and buy another shovel or two, combine them up, and then we can speed through it a lot quicker. So I'll go check up on my melon situation, I'll go check up on the farm situation, get a little bit more trades flowing. Uh, and then I'll get back to you once we've got our shovels. Oh my god, I can't believe my luck. So look at this guy, right? Look at this guy. He put his shovels down to, oh, it was 11, but it's gone down to 10 now, right? And I got just enough emeralds to grab three extras with 11 left, so I could have bought another one, but he ran out. Um, but the that was really good. That was really good. He uh, discounted them literally as I needed him to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw them all up in this right here and go boom, boom. Efficiency three. And then we'll do the same with this one, which is a little bit expensive. A little bit expensive. And then this is going to be too much, isn't it? Yep, 12 or 12. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I'll do a little bit a little bit of trading with some of the wood we've got up in here. I can sacrifice a little bit of it. Okay. Oh, come on now. Look how close I am. Look at that XP bar. All right. Now we can combine the last shovel and get on with taking down the hill. I just feel like um, like getting landscaping done now is going to be pretty good because then we can just work on whatever we want after. I was worried that we wouldn't have enough time to take this down, but I, I think we do. I think we're going to be just fine. Okay. And then as for this bit, we'll have it go up gradually as an incline right here. So we'll get rid of this. There we go. And then if I just get you out of the way, I should probably actually have you following me around a little bit more because I did go through quite a bit of trouble to get you and you just kind of sit around doing nothing. I'm trying to think whether or not I want to bring this area down some. I think I probably should, right? This would 
it'd benefit me quite a bit to have this area a little bit more level here. So let's just, let's pull it back to about here, I'll say. Oh, all right, there we go. Beautiful. Good day's work right there. And we've also got an extra bed for the uh, the villager breeder over there as well. So it's a, it's a win-win situation today. So I'm going to go throw this in here. Um, I'll throw it just, just right there. There we go. You can have a bed now, buddy. Um, if you couldn't, oh, you you kid, you can have a bed, but you're not gonna be able to get to it. Okay, I see, I see, I see, uh, I see what kind of villager you are now. You know, yeah, just look at this, look at this absolute vegetable right here, man. Oh, the iron golem's mad. The iron golem's mad. The iron golem's mad. I heard him moving towards me. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm staying in my house all day tomorrow. Bye. Whoa! I just started my day watching an Enderman get absolutely smashed up by this golem. Um, did you drop a pearl? Are you angry at me, buddy? Ooh. I fixed you up, remember? I repaired you, remember? Okay, so I'm thinking that... Oh, no, he did drop a pearl. I can't use it, but he dropped it. And I'm thinking we need to get this to kind of go up. I, I, I'm going to say semi-naturally. I don't really care at the minute how it goes up and how it looks. As long as I can get up on a gradient, it's fine. Like, this is not natural in any sense, but you know what? It works, and it's fine. Okay, so we'll start today off by going around and just replacing this stone and, I guess, coal with a little bit of dirt. Um, and then, I don't know, I kind of want to finish my house off, but that's going to take a few days. Ooh, that would have gone bad. Oh, my God. You blocked that up a little bit. Jesus. Okay, that's opened up a decent bit more space now, hasn't it? All right, so I've decided what we're going to do today is we're going to go and finally build up the um, the bone meal farm because I'm going to need a whole bunch of bone meal to continue building my house. So I spent the remainder of the afternoon working on building up an automatic bone meal farm following a tutorial that I found on YouTube that ended up actually becoming really expensive with the amount of iron that I had to use on hoppers. But then after making a very small amount of progress, things came to a halt pretty quickly because I needed some redstone lamps and didn't have the glowstone to make them. So I decided to head into the nether and grabbed a bunch from this massive chunk right here before returning home and heading to bed. Okay, so now that we have the lamps and glowstone, I was going to say that we can go and start building it up again, but I need some more iron because it absolutely bankrupted me yesterday with the amount of hoppers I needed. It really caught me off guard, so we're going to head down the mine. We're going to go down a way that I've not been before. We're going to go over this way to see if there's anything there, um, and hopefully stack up on a little bit more iron because I really can't continue on any further because I need more iron. You know what? Skeletons actually aren't that bad to deal with. They're, um, you just block and swing and you're pretty much fine. I, li I cannot find any iron in these caves. Um, I'm starting to think that there isn't any. Oh god! Now this can become a problem. This can become a problem real quick. Uh, that's kind of good. There's, you know, a skeleton farmer, a spawner and stuff, but like, um, oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that to be down there. All right, uh, we'll pay that another visit at a later date. But for now, I'm not going anywhere near that. I literally just need iron and I can't find any. Okay, zombie with a couple of creepers over here. Not really too big of a threat, not going to lie. Okay, 40 iron. That should be... That should be enough. I'll pick up any I see on my way back out, but I'm not going to go any deeper looking for it. Okay, so now that the iron's smelting down, I'll go and place down the redstone lamps, and then we will get on with making the rest of this build. Now, I hope I can get the majority of this finished off today. Um, we don't need too much more stuff now. It's literally just getting everything uh, placed down and like put down properly in, in the correct places, but I, I don't see it getting done before nightfall. Well, I can tell you this, I 100% know that this isn't getting finished off tonight because I need to go into the nether and get quartz because I need observers for very obvious reasons I need observers so not getting finished off tonight okay we don't need too much quartz we literally just need enough for, I think like six or eight observers so we'll, we'll get this entire chunk and that should be enough Okay, so I managed to make a little bit more progress during the night. I put the hoppers, uh, not the hoppers, I put the observers and the pistons down. So, calm, stop, calm down. There we go, go away. Um, I see you back there as well, buddy. You're not coming to get me. Uh, but yeah, there was really no mobs around last night. There was only these couple of guys that came and stalked me up there, but obviously they can't really get to me. Oh my god, can you die? There we go. So yeah, all we need to do now is we need to put some glass down at the front and uh, place some kelp, and we are good to go. Infinite bone meal um, is literally just mere moments away. Also, I know that that place looks absolutely atrocious with it being a mix of spruce wood and oak wood, but uh, just leave me alone. Okay, I ran out of one of the woods. Okay, so now all that's left to do is I throw these down here like that. 
place down some redstone like so. And then all we've got to do is just bring some water up here and place it down until we've covered all of these observers. Okay, there we go. So there's the bone meal farm gone and out of the way. Um, I guess I'll go and flatten this area out right here because it's bothering me slightly. And then just patch up this monster of a hole that's right next to my house. I don't know why this is here. Oh, this is the cave I went down earlier trying to find iron. Okay. Well, we're going to patch you up and we're hopefully not going to have anything else to do with you for the rest of this playthrough. Uh, you know what? It doesn't look too terrible from the front on. Um, it just it gets a little bit janky when you look at it from any other angle. All right, so now we've got infinite bone meal. They just give it time; it'll start, you know, actually producing some stuff for us. Now, one thing I do need to work on, other than the house, is a storage area. Now, the house I'm building has a storage area incorporated in it, but that's not being built yet. So I think we should either a focus on finishing off the house in the next couple of days, or b focus on making a little storage area and sorting it out. I'm leaning more towards the house. Okay, so a better idea right now would be to just completely leave the storage uh, alone for now. We'll put, we'll put some stuff away, um, but we'll leave the storage idea alone for now because we don't have the stuff to do it. Um, and then we'll return to that a little bit later. But I think tomorrow is going to be another wood gathering day. Probably dedicate most of the day to it because there's a lot of oak wood we need to get. Plus, I want to stack back up on XP and get a little bit more trading done. I'm also debating giving this guy another visit to see if he'll finally give me like power I would take anything else from him at this point I probably take mending over it right now But I'm too dedicated to hating this man So he has to give me power five or just any power really but he's still <laughs> He's still just not doing that. I can see yeah, you know what? I'm actually gonna spend my night here. I'm gonna spend my night here with this guy We're going for round two round two. Let's go Jesus, this guy, man. This guy. Absolute joke of a man. Power three. Oh, my God. Massive. Huge. Oh, my God. It only took you, like, what? <sighs> Let's have a look. So, about 12,000 years to give me that. Okay. Well, we need to stack up on emeralds. So, tomorrow will definitely be a tree chopping day. Day 26. I uh, chopped down trees again. A lot of them. All day. Just chopping wood down. Just, just chopping at trees. Let's move on. Okay, so we got a decent amount of wood yesterday, um, but I realized that the main one we need is actually spruce, and that bone meal farm has so far generated me a grand total of zero bone meal. However, I think placing these trees down yesterday was a good idea because we've had a couple of them grow, so I'm just going to go and chop this guy down, uh, and then them two little fellows that have grown there, and then we'll get back to work on the house because I want this finished because I want the storage area that's there. Ah! Oh my god, that was close. Didn't see him at all. Some could say that he uh, crept up on me, huh? Crept up on me, creeping around. Uh, um, I'm gonna shut up. Just, I'm just let me get my wood, okay? <laughs> oh, there's another big one that's grown. Okay, we'll go grab this one and then we'll get back to work on the house. Ooh, I didn't want to fall down there. I should really look at getting feather falling for my boots like ASAP because then I can actually tank like a good distance of fall. How you doing, buddy? You want a quick repair? There you go. It's not full, but it's the best I can do right now. I don't want to give all my iron to you. Okay, so now we're sitting on a whole bunch of oak wood and four, we'll call it four stacks of spruce, which isn't bad at all. So I'm going to see what I need to do and then we'll get straight to work. Okay, so we're going to need to bring these bad boys up a little bit. So let's go and do that real quick. And then we put these across them. Okay, there we go. That looks right. By the way, I'm following diagrams now, okay? There was a Google image, but then there was a site that had diagrams, so uh, we're using that now. <laughs> okay, so now we need to bring these across the back and across here as well. And now we actually want to use some oak wood for the first time in about nine years. We can actually use some of this, so we'll fill this in. And then the same on this side. Now, on the images, they use uh, oak wood for this. I'm uh, Oak planks, sorry. So I'm going to use oak stripped wood because I think it looks a little bit better. Now, the actual portal for the nether is supposed to go like right here. So I'm just going to leave a space and I'm going to just put... I might just go and grab the obsidian, but that's going to take a little while. So I'll put some stripped spruce logs here just to remind me that that's for the nether portal. Okay, and now we need to bring the front up a little bit and add some detail to that. 
All right, and now we get to being able to place some chests down, finally. Um, it's been a little while, but this is the part I wanted to get to today. So we've made good progress. We've made really good progress. Okay, there we go. Finally, we've got some storage. We finally got some storage. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, well, that was some pretty good progress for today. That's looking pretty good. That's looking nice. All right. Well, we'll head home, and then in the morning, I guess we'll get to moving some stuff over there into the new uh, storage area. We also want to go and grab a whole bunch of item frames as well, because then we can use those to actually know what in like what's in each chest. Okay, throw those in there. 15 item frames, and then we'll take over... We'll deal with, like, the ores and stuff first, so, like... Uh, do, 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 do. where is it? The lapis and redstone. Anything in here? Iron nugget. Um, and that's we'll, we'll take those for now. Oh, and the dirt as well. We may as well we may as well get started with the dirt. We got a lot of that. Okay, and now we'll throw these down on here like this. Okay, there's not enough for all of them. I'm going to be missing three, but that's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to sort out all this storage today. Um, I don't know if this counts as storage day. We'll call it storage day. 1.0 okay because there's probably going to be two because this is not going to be enough stuff it's the, it's the prequel the prequel to storage days what's what, what this is right now all right but uh yeah i'll see you once i've moved everything over okay there we go it took a little bit longer than i was expecting but we've got most of the stuff over here now really all the stuff that's important now that did take like i said a little bit longer than i was expecting um, and i've also come to notice that this farm is probably one of the worst things i've ever built because if you look in here i don't think you see any bone meal now, if we take a little le a little peep in this one, oh, uh, no bone meal. So, um, yeah, not happy with the um, the capacity of that farm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, besides, the trees seem to just be growing on themselves, so this really isn't a problem. So I think, huh? Why? Are, are they escaping over here? I I'm sure that they're going to have to be able to be escaping over here or something, man. Hello, are you all still in here? Some of you. Oh, no, you are all in here. I think they're just breeding normally then. Damn, okay. Uh, my toolsmith guy is apparently contemplating many things right now. Uh, don't do it, buddy. You are very useful, even though you're not my toolsmith, I don't think. I think you're the armorer, right? J just don't do it, all right? Don't do it. I need you around, buddy, okay? Uh, yeah, you are my armorer. Yeah, I knew it all along, buddy. I knew it all along. Please come back down to the hole. Please don't jump off the top. Um, So, yeah, I think I might head to bed tonight, and then tomorrow I'll try and get the house finished off. I don't know if I can, Um, but I want to try and get the house out of the way because then we can actually start working on the little town we can build up. So I'll head to bed now, and then in the morning we'll do... A a super fast buildup of the rest of the house. Now, over the following couple of days, I focused all my efforts on getting the house finished and actually having a place to live that's not just a tiny little rundown house that I evicted the previous villager tenant from. And luckily for me, this house, for the most part, only uses two types of materials that are oak wood and spruce wood, and that's pretty much it. So all of the material gathering and management wasn't a problem, although by the end of day 29, I did run out of spruce wood. So then, on the following morning, I went and chopped down two of the giga trees, and now the spruce shortage is no longer a problem. After restocking on wood, I got back to work on the house, building up the second floor throughout the day, and reaching the third floor and roof by nightfall. Now, I do have to say that this is one of the easiest and simplest houses I think I've ever built, but it doesn't actually look super simplistic. Well, I mean, it might right now, but that's just solely because it's not finished. But once all the glass details and, like, oak planks and stuff are all on, it will look so much better. Now, eventually, I did manage to get the house finished off by the morning of day 31. And by finished off, I mean somewhat livable without any windows, so i still got to work on that. Sheesh, all right, there we go. That's the uh, the house done for the most part. I still need to add windows and stuff, but uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. It's going to really work well as kind of like the backbone to this little little society I'm wanting to build around here. It's going to be good. It's going to be real nice. Now, the inside does leave some to be desired right now. Just pay, uh, pay no attention to it. The upstairs is even worse. There's just wood kind of thrown all over up there. But the house structure itself is done. And what are you selling, my good fellow? Um, nothing good. Okay. So what we're going to do real quick today is I'm going to store away all of this wood that I've got because I got way too much. But like I said, it's better to have too much than too little. We're going to store away this and then we're going to go and grab a whole bunch of sand. I think actually, no, to be fair, I think I already have sand. Yeah, I have 42 but we're probably going to need more. Um, and then we're going to finish off the windows as well today because, well, I kind of need those in the house, you know, to uh, live in here, at least securely. So I'll just throw that in there and then we'll take our trusty Efficiency 4 shovel down to the beach and dig up a whole bunch of sand. So I'll get this place down what I have now and then we'll just keep going back and forth from the furnace until we are completely glassed up. 
Okay, and there we go. The windows are all done now. It looks really nice. Um, and it did only take one trip back to the furnace from that point because we just had a load of it smelting down. Now, I have found the fact that I completely forgot to uh, do the bottom bit here. So there's like, you know, just a couple gaps in the house. Uh, but it's all good. I'll, I'll patch those up right now and then we'll see what we can do tonight. I'll probably get to trying to do some stuff with the interior tonight. Okay, so I have worked tirelessly throughout the night, replacing a whole bunch of wooden planks with uh, actual wooden logs, and I think that the detailing now just looks so much better. Now, I do want to go around and add, like, a whole bunch of, uh, what they call chains and lanterns and stuff hanging around. I think that'd look pretty good. And then maybe, I'm thinking I want to replace those with azalea leaves. I need to find an azalea first. Uh, and then do something here as well, because these seem quite lackluster. But yeah, all in all, things are looking pretty good. The house is secure now, and uh, we can move in pretty much. I just need to do the interior because it's a little bit empty. Get rid of the greenery that's growing up in here. And then we'll make our little smelting corner. We'll have our smelting area down in the basement, you know, down in the basement. Okay, there we go. Basement done. Uh, I'll throw my bed down on this floor for now. Um, and I'm also going to go and just throw a bunch of these right here because I don't like the fact that that's exposed to the outside. Like, I don't like that I can see through my house because the chests are there, you know? And then just throw my bed there. There we go. Beautiful. What a bedroom. What a bedroom. Okay. All right. So then, for the rest of today, I'm going to store away some of this stuff. And then we're going to go and get a little bit more trading done with the villagers. I'll use my leftover wood to get a whole bunch of stick trades. And then hopefully we'll get enough XP to either A enchant our diamond pickaxe or b get enough levels up to get this guy to sell us a diamond pickaxe that's hopefully got efficiency and possibly fortune on it so i'll get to breaking these down and trading them up and then we'll see where we are when these boyos have run out of trades oh i also just remembered um i was supposed to get power three off of that guy before i started building the house that was half the reason i went to get the trees wasn't it I've only just remembered now oh my god okay well we'll go and get that at, at some point i'm not really in any rush right now Hello, good sir. Hello. I have come for your equipment. Yes. Um, I'll buy another sh... I'll, you know what? I'll buy another axe, actually. I'll buy two more axes. How's that? Yeah, look at me. Big spender right here. Ooh. Okay. I mean, that's not too bad. I'll, I'll take it over not having one, you know? Oh, my God. How expensive were those axes? Oh, my God. <laughs> they were so expensive. I didn't even notice. Um, okay, well, we'll get a couple more trades done. I'll buy that diamond pick off him, and then we'll throw just, like, some shoddy enchants on the one we have. Efficiency 2. I mean, ah, we may as well. We may as well. Let me go grab my lapis, and then we'll throw that on, and then we'll call it a day, and probably go down the mines tonight. Okay, so we're gonna do boom, boom. Uh, that's six. How much is that? Two! Sheesh! Oh, there goes the anvil. Oh, well, we definitely need more iron now. Okay, well, in that case, then, let's start a little mine over here and just head down. Uh, hello? <gasps> Ooh, big cave too. How do you see me from down there, buddy? Come on now. <gasps> Ooh, have I been? I think I've been down here. There's wood down there. <gasps> oh, it's a mine shaft. I, I don't know why I even thought that that wasn't a possibility. It oh, oh, God. <laughs> sorry. Oh, my God. He scared me so much. Oh, and there's a spider coming too. And there's a spider coming too. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, that goes down pretty deep over there. All right, this is definitely a good find. Ah, perfect timing too, because the sun's literally just coming up. Lovely. All right, hello, piggy. All right, so it wasn't the best mining session ever. However, we do have 56 iron, so that's, you know, 56 more than what we had. Now, while that's smelting down, dare I head down to... Ah, oh, where was the lava? Was it down in the ravine, or was it over that way into the one in the forest? I don't remember. I think it might have been over here. So I'm going to go head over here and grab up some more obsidian as well. And then we can deal with the lanterns and build up the nether portal over at the house. Damn, this thing really grew a forest over here, didn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> ah, yeah, the lava was down here. Okay, amazing. Okay, so I'm going to go and grab just like 10 or 12 more pieces of this. So I'll see you once we've got it all. As if mining obsidian wasn't bad enough right now, I've also got hiccups at the same time. And I hate hiccups and I hate mining obsidian. So this is going amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. The worst combination of things. So I hiccuped my way back to the surface and through the forest to the village and got to work on breaking down the old nether portal and rebuilding it over at the new house. 
before then spending an ungodly amount of iron, crafting up a bunch of lanterns and chains that I spent the evening placing down all around the house to help really brighten things up. Also, a little update on the uh, the hiccups. I actually took a break after recording this day because they just didn't go away for like 20 plus minutes. Wasn't a fun time. Hiccups are literally the work of the devil. Okay, so waking up today, the house is looking a little bit brighter from the outside now. Um, oh, it's a lovely rainbow to start off the morning as well, uh, but that's looking a lot better. Now, I do want to add like quite a bit more greenery on there just because I'm not really happy with... It just looks like wood right now, so I do want to add some, maybe some leaves in between here. Like, I'll try that real quick. I'll throw some down real quick, uh, and we'll see how they look with, like, kind of like they're planted in little pots, you know? Okay, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm thinking over this side where this uh, very not good farm is, was generated me one, um, and one bone meal this entire time. It took me three days to build, and it's generated me one bone meal so far, so that's amazing. But I think where this farm is, we're going to tear this down, and I think this area is where we're going to put the village breeder the house idea i'm thinking of will have an area underneath um where i might use as like an area of the trade hub um or the full trade hub itself so i don't know whether or not i'll combine those two into one however we're not going to do that just yet because i am going to go and grab the enchantment table and throw that in the bottom area of the house um but i want to repair this axe first before i do anything and then i'm kind of thinking that i want to go and deck myself out in diamond armor as well but then also to do that is going to require quite a bit of stuff. Okay, we're not going to have much iron left over after this anvil. Oh my days. Okay, very expensive this time around. Okay, how expensive are you going to be? Seven levels. And what about this way? Thirteen levels. Okay, well, I'll take the seven. Okay, so we'll go and grab the enchantment table, and then I'm going to chop down all the giant spruce trees over there, uh, because the amount of logs that we'll get from those, turn them into sticks, and get a load of trading done passively alongside everything, we're going to be making some pretty good bank, which will allow us to buy some pretty good diamond armor at some point. So just in between doing actual things, I'm going to go off and just trade with the villagers and chop down these trees every so often. Um, instead of dedicating full days to do it, I'll just do it passively alongside everything else. Okay, that's the majority of the big ones chopped down, and I think, I just, you know, I, I think we might have enough wood for trading for a little while. So I'm going to go, I'll throw the enchantment table down, and then I'll also run around and just trade a bunch of sticks with these villagers real quick. Um, and then I think we'll tear down this awful contraption right here next. So I'll speed through the trades with these villagers, I'll go and feed the ones in the breeder, and then we'll tear down that thing. It'll probably be night by the time we're tearing that down, but it should be fine. Okay, how are you lot doing over here? I'm assuming that you're gonna need more beds soon. I don't think that you can really have many more villagers, if any. Oh god, grab the protect- What are you do- What is going off? What is this? There we go, one with a brain cell. Oh my god, okay. Okay, and there we go. The awful, atrocious thing is now gone, and now the space can be reused for something that's actually gonna serve a purpose to me. Okay, so I don't know why it's taken me up until right now to realize that my plan about going into the nether and killing blaze can't happen because I need blaze powder to uh, like actually cook up potions. So we can't um, we can't do that. But I mean, we could, but like it's a whole lot of effort. It's just easier. I'll snipe the blaze from a distance, grab some blaze powder, return home, cook up the potions and then go back in. I think is the way that makes the most logical sense. Anyways, today's objective, I want to go out and find some sheep, which shouldn't take too long since we're in a plains biome, um, and I want to shear them, because I need a bunch more wool to make beds for the village breeder, because trading the sticks that I'm trading per day is just, is not it. It really isn't it. Like, we get good XP and we get good return on, like, uh, with emeralds and stuff, but other than that, it's not too amazing. We could do so much better. So, if we can just find some sheep, there was literally some here yesterday when I was chopping down the trees. Where have they gone? Oh, wait, if that wolf's still around, he'll have eaten them, won't he? I think the wolf cleared him up. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, well, we can try and tame him. Hello, buddy. Get my guy a friend, finally. Nope. Jesus, man. What does he want from me? Okay, well, I guess we'll head back over this way. We've not been over this way for a very long time. And we'll try and find some sheep over here that hopefully haven't been mauled by wolves. Is that another one down there? Oh, there's a couple around here. Yes. Don't know why I just mocked a sheep. Oh, wow. The plains biome goes on a lot further than I thought it did. <gasps> oh, and there's pumpkins over here, too. Awesome. Whoa. Okay. Back just in time for it to get dark. Amazing. All right. That was a pretty successful day. I only kind of did one thing. But damn, did I do that one thing? Well, okay. We've got some good amounts of wool right there. That's going to make quite a lot of stuff. Hey, buddy. You still selling Power 3? You so I knew it. I knew it. I knew... Whew, you know what? Calm down, alright? Take a moment. 
take a moment, don't think about it, and just... This is what we're doing again tonight, all right? He's going to sell me power again. I've got the emeralds, I've got the book, I'm buying it as soon as I see it. I personally am saying that I will not, because this guy absolutely hates... Oh, well, no, you know what? I just proved myself wrong. Okay, there we go. Okay, put my stake out of there. Uh, then we go boom, boom, combine those, and then go boom, boom. Uh, no, like boom, boom, and then boom! There we go, power four on the bow. I kind of want to go test this out on that creeper I saw over there. Creeper, my good friend, how's it going? Right, I'm going to say two shots. One, two, yeah, okay. So it's better. It's not perfect. I feel like power five would probably one shot. I'm not too sure. Depends on the mob, I feel like. All right, so last night's bow escapades didn't go too well. So I just kind of cowered in here most of the night and uh, did a little adjustment on the upstairs roof right here so that it doesn't look as janky as it did before. It doesn't look as, like, empty, I guess, is what it looked. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, coming up here is... Uh, is not great, so we'll just forget about this place. This place doesn't exist, uh, and we've got a nice second floor now. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get a little bit more training done. We're going to stack up on some more emeralds. I think I spent them all. And we're also going to maybe head back into the nether and try and search for a fortress a little bit more as well. Just because I really want to get some uh, nether wart and blaze powder and whatnot to uh, start actually cooking up some potions to help me, you know, survive a little bit more. So we'll start the day off right with a lovely little bit of trading. Hello, good fellow. You didn't restock because you stuck up the ladder. Okay, absolute idiot. Don't like him. Okay, now I think I should have enough, like, blocks and stuff to get through a good portion of the nether safely. Are we still wearing gold boots? Yes, we are. So let me just light that real quick. I thought I set my house on fire then for a second. Okay, in we go. See what we can find. How many arrows have I got? I'll take more with me. Okay, so we'll start making our way through the uh, the basalt delta again then, and hopefully we can get to the area where we once was. Uh, I don't know where we are right here. Oh, no, I see the... Okay, we're higher up than where we used to be, so we need to get over there. Okay. Okay, we're right over where we need to be, so we're just going to get to the wall again, and then we're good, and then we can start looking for a fortress without hopefully getting sniped by a ghast. Would be, would be really nice. Okay, so here is where we need to be again, and then we also want to move... Uh, do I want to go, like, round there all the way around to get to the blue biome, or do I want to go this way? We'll risk it. We'll go round. Why not? Why not? We'll take a little adventure around here. Oh, is that? I think I see a fortress right there. Um, it's not, it's not in the blue biome, but it'll do if it is. Oh, no, it is. Yep, it's a fortress. It's in the red biome, which is kind of sucky, but it could be worse. It could be in a base old delta. I guess I'll make my way over there then and uh, see what lurks within. Okay, hello. Let me make myself a little safety area here away from all forms of death. There we go. And by that, I literally just mean wither skeletons. Hopefully there is. Okay, found the blaze spawner. The blaze spawner's here. Amazing. We will block that off like that. Now, I do need to kill Blaze to uh, actually, you know, get the stuff I need. Ooh, there's a few of them up there now. Okay, he's down. He's down too. Okay, he's down. Come on. There we go. There we go. Go, 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 go. Quick, 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 quick. quick. Get rid of the spawner real quick because I've got some rods, but it's fine. I'll find another one. Okay, all right. We can cook potions now. Well, partly. We still need the nether wart, but that's not as scary to get. Okay, I'll mark my way back home as this way, and we will continue in. Now, I actually ended up traversing the endless hollow halls of this fortress for like 15 minutes, and just didn't have any luck finding any nether wart whatsoever, and was very, very close to giving up hope, when I ended up stumbling across this chest full of the stuff, along with two farm rooms right next to each other. Now, just before heading back through the portal, I decided to take on the daring mission of taking out a magma cube so that that way I could grab some magma cream and cook it up into some fire recipe potions. But after dealing with the cube of magma, I safely returned home. So today, what we're going to do is I'm going to grab my blaze rods and magma cream. Oh, also that nether wart. I'm going to need some of that, aren't I? Um, actually, you know what? Let me go and grab a little bit more of this and we'll start a little farm down in the basement as well. Okay, so uh, boom, 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 boom. We'll make some of those and then we'll get cooking down in the basement. We've got a little weird setup down here in the basement. I'm not going to lie. We've got um, <laughs> there's some stuff going off down in this basement. Hopefully those golems don't come down here and find out what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to break. I'll break one of these down because they don't, they don't eat up much of this. It takes a little while. Um, and then I'll just throw down some water right here. Uh, throw that there and then just get to filling all these up. Oh, you know actually what would be a good idea? If I had like a hopper system underneath the water so when i like filled up a load of bottles that just filter it into a chest i don't know why i've never thought of doing that before but that's like a genius idea 
Oh my god, I'm actually impressed with myself with that one. Okay, so we want to cook those up into awkwards, and then I think uh, we cook them down into fire res. Boom! There we go. All right, amazing. Great. Okay, so we're going to have... A whole bunch of fire resistance potions makes the nether pretty much a joke for us now at this point. Uh, obviously, there's still pretty much everything in there that can still one-shot us, but other than that, I think we should be okay. All right, so I'm going to cook some potions up. I'm going to do a little bit more trading this evening, so I will see you all once we've got things cooked up and once I've got a few more levels and a few more emeralds. Okay, so last night was uh, pretty good. Didn't get much more trading done, um, but we did max out all the fire resistance potions we can make. Um, and I did have to repair my axe as well because the trees, I didn't notice, but they really took their toll on it. Now, today's objective is I want to see how many beds I can make, which will then see how big I need to make the village of breeder. So they should be in this one, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll do all this wool, see how much we can get from that, and then um, see where we go from there. Okay, all right, so almost a full chest worth of beds. That's <laughs> that's not bad. I'll throw this down. I'll throw this in here. We are going to need to stack back up on oak wood, and then I guess we can start on building the villager breeder. I kind of want to go and see what design I want to go with. I'm not 100% sure just yet, but I'm sure it won't be hard for me to, to think of one. And we're going to put it just over here where this uh, disgrace of a farm was. Okay, so I'm going to go take a peek at some designs that I like, and I'll get back to you once I've found the one. Okay, I have a design in mind, um, but it's going to be a little bit bigger than what I was anticipating. Now, it's not massive, it's not massive, but I think fitting it here... Oh, uh, to be fair, no, that should be... that should be fine. We just might have to push this hill back a little bit. Let me see what kind of terrain we've got behind here. How big is this hill? I mean, it's not too bad, to be fair. I could... I could push this back. I could take this down. So push it back to here. I've obviously got this little mini mountain to the left of me here, but that's that's fine. We'll deal with that in due time. Okay, so how this is going to work is I want the back of the build to be like here. Um, I don't know how many blocks wide it is. Let me just go double check that. Okay, so it's 32 blocks wide, which is kind of big. That's bigger than my house, I think. Um, so let's check here how big 32 blocks would be. So one, two, three... 32 blocks wide would be that. Um, that's pretty big, man. That's pretty big. We may have to get rid of a lot more of this hill then. Like, a lot more of it. Okay, well, I guess I could spend like a day or two landscaping it. It's fine. So it might take a little bit more effort, but I feel like it's going to be worth it, you know? So I'll just kind of get rid of as much of this as I can tonight, and then we'll see what we can do in the following couple days. So I spent the night leveling out as much of the ground area as I possibly could, just to try and help relieve some of the work that I'd need to do over the coming couple of days. But honestly, I managed to level out a decent-sized area pretty quickly, so I wasn't too worried about it taking that long. So I started off day 40 by clearing out some straggler skellies from last night and then once they were gone the landscaping began however this time it involved some renovations let's say on the villager houses and by renovations i mean i completely leveled them to the ground leaving no trace of what was there prior but to be fair in my defense i am building them a better one so i think it's a worthwhile trade-off after taking down the houses, it was back to leveling the floor, so I worked tirelessly throughout the day in the pouring rain all the way until the sunset, and I called it a day, repairing my shovel before heading to bed. However, my work was far from done, so in the morning I got back to landscaping and managed to get the floor all leveled off by the afternoon of day 41. And now it came time to get to work on the first part of the build, when I realized that the outline that I'm building right now that's 32 blocks wide is actually only the outline of the build and not the house itself. So I didn't really need to level an area this big, but hey, I've done it now, I guess. So these guys are going to be like free range villages or something. I don't know. They're going to have space. Although actually in hindsight, thinking about it now, they won't have access to the space at all because they're going to be contained in two by one trading blocks. So at least they can look at the space, I guess. On day 42, the building continued, but I ended up hitting kind of a rocky patch where I realized that I built the entire thing backwards and was just not having a good time at all, considering that all the progress that I'd just made was going to have to be torn down and rebuilt in the opposite way. So that's exactly what I did on day 43, and by the end of the day, I'd managed to restore all the progress that I'd made the day prior and even a little bit more, but I do think that that's enough building for now. So this is going to be the actual house and then there's going to be an area underneath as you see right here that's going to work as where we're going to put these guys to trade with us, alright? These are going to work as the trade holes underneath here 
and then the house will be slightly elevated. So for now, what I want to do is I want to take a break from that because that was mildly infuriating when I uh, messed it up. But now we want to head into the nether and uh, take the fire resistance potions with us and grab some blaze rods because I do want to start work on making my way to the end and preparing for that. Ooh, there's some... Ooh, hello. How's it going, buddy? And then there should be one more of you left up there, right? Yeah, there you are. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, there's another one. Uh-oh. Hit each other. Hit each other. This ain't right. There we go. Okay. Close calls, but we're good. Oh, here. Right here. It should be, right? Yeah, right there. Okay. Where are those guys? They're here on the walls. Okay, 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 okay. So let me pop a fire resistance. Where are the ones over here? Like, I hear them right... They're, like, right in this thing here, but I can't... Like, I don't know where they actually are. I don't know. I'll focus on the guys up here, though. This shouldn't really be a problem for me now. Yeah, literally, just sit back here, all right? We'll walk away, let a couple spawn in, and then we'll just come back and snipe them. Okay, seven should be more than enough, because we've got a couple up back at the house. So, there we go. All right, we're kind of set on blaze rods. All right, so now that we've got our blaze rods and stuff, I was going to do some more trading with the villagers today, but I'm thinking, what's the point in building a trading hall if I'm not going to, like, you know, trade with them in the hall? I'm just going to do it in their little crappy little huts that they've got right now. So, I'm going to check how much wood we've got, which we're not looking amazing on. I'm not going to lie. I thought that this would do a lot more than it has. Well, we need to go grab a little bit more wood, and then we shall begin again on the build. I just want to get it out of the way. It should be done within the next day or so. Um, it really shouldn't take too long. After chopping down the oak trees, I got back to work on the building, adding a wooden log beam all the way around the pillars, and then filling in the first floor with birch planks, which I think is actually the first ever time I've used birch in this video. It did used to be my favorite wood, but spruce has kind of toppled it as of this past year. All of my builds have pretty much involved spruce, not birch. But anyways, let's get back on topic. After I finished off the floor, I began an outline for the stairs that are going to lead up all the way to the first floor. Then I just went around and added some details on the hollow bits at the bottom before calling it a day. However, on the following day, I actually decided to do some more building because I really did just want to get this thing finished off as soon as possible so that I can actually use it and it not just sit here with villagers that have already been traded with. But anyways, I actually got to work on building up the house part of it today and it wasn't anything too complex. It was really pretty simple. That was until I got to the roof and did make a couple of mistakes throughout the night, but eventually by the morning of day 47, the trading hall was finally done. And now it came out looking okay. It's not the greatest build I've ever done, but it'll house them and it'll look good enough for now. So yeah, it's done, finally. Okay, there we go. Now this isn't finished still, all right? But hear me out, all right? Um, It's good enough to have the villagers in here now. We can just bring them in with boats, throw them down in here and then they can't get out or they shouldn't be able to get out from behind here i don't think they can jump that that's like impossible this is pretty much impossible for them too they're not the brightest of people so my plan with this area is to kind of have these support beams in the middle and then have little trade hubs and just trap them in there i was going to have an area behind them where i could like move them about but it, it's just not big enough but this works pretty well i just need to replace the floor and tidy it up and add more wood but other than that it's pretty good so what we can actually start doing now, and I should probably get rid of this fence right here so we can get people in here, is I want to kind of get them up here, which I've now realized could be a slight problem because we don't have any um, way of getting up there because I don't think a boat can do that, right? Uh, can you go upstairs? No. Okay. Um, in which case then, I think we have some soul sand, so I could make a little elevator. All right. And then we throw the kelp down. Uh, I need water down first for, to do this. There we go. Throw the kelp down. Get some bone meal and go boom, 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 boom. Oh, God. Okay, that's that's quick. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Just, just go in the boat. There we go. There we go. You come over into this corner. Okay. So, <sighs> okay. I don't need you guys in the same boat. Okay. I just need one of you in this boat. Oh, this is this is not good. This is This is the m worst thing I've ever done. Okay. I need one of you. One. Right, you in that boat. Go on. Go on. Get in. There we go. All right. Now this can work to our advantage. We can just open this up and now we can just take them out wherever we want. And I think this should be the same level as... Oh, no. My house is a little bit higher. Ooh. Okay. Uh, you know what then? I've got pistons, so I'll just set up a little temporary piston system. God, this is a lot of work for Villa to trade in. Okay, and now this should, should work. There we go. Okay, buddy. Get ready for the ride of your life. Oh, God. 
Ah, uh, now you see, I didn't. What? What is happening? What is happening right here? Hello? What? What, what just happened? No, I did all that. I worked so hard. You're getting in this boat. No, no, please, please, my guy. Please, 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 please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boat, the boat, the boat. No. Why do you turn around when I'm about to put you in the boat? Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Uh, oh, no. Oh, God. If you, I mean, if you go up there, then I can just put you directly. Yeah, yeah, Stay there, stay there, stay there. In the boat, in the boat. Why can't I place it? Stupid grass, get out of the way. Get in. Yes. Okay, great. We are saved. We are saved. I can just take him up the other side. It's all good. It's all good. And go, 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 go. Why won't it? Why won't it send him? Why won't it send? What is he? This is not going well. I'm not going to lie. Oh, you've returned to your home, have you? Well, guess where you're going? Back in the boat. Right, so we're up, we're up, we're up. And he's off. Okay. What? what why are you doing that, buddy? What is doing? What? Okay, okay, this ain't happening. This ain't happening. I'm calling it a day. I'm calling it a day. Um, I'll fix something up tomorrow. I, I can't with this right now. I've wasted a whole day on that. Okay, and behold my genius. Um, I literally just did the exact same things from down there and put them up here. I was going to do this in the first place, but I thought that the water thing would be faster. Turns out that this old reliable system, still the same way to go. So, we're going to take this half a villager, apparently, because his uh, legs aren't there. We're going to take him up here, and we're going to have him the first villager in our little breeder slash trade hall slash prison. <gasps> oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect movement. Perfect control. Now, I do want to go and add, like, some leaves and, like, plants and stuff up there just to make it look a little bit less barren. Um, but for now, I'm just going to focus on getting the villagers over there because, I mean, it's going to take a little while just down to the fact that I have to do it through boats. Okay, amazing. Right, so now we can bring over some of the other little guys as well. Um, I kind of want to get rid of this path for now and just have it standard dirt just so I don't have to mess about with uh, pulling them up another level. Okay, and here we are. Now, we don't actually have that many trading villagers, I've just realized. Um, and also, one of the Fletchers ended up dying, and this guy took his place. Um, he got infected by a zombie, so he's gone now, but he's replacing him. Now, underneath here, we've got our librarian, our Fletchers. Oh my god, could you please be quiet? So loud. As I was saying, under here, we've got our Fletchers, librarians, a toolsmith. Oh, I forgot about the armorer guy, but that's fine. We'll, we'll get him later. And this is how things are going to be set up. I've made a little dummy area right here. This is how we're going to have things set up. We're going to have redstone lamps above here like that. Look how beautiful that looks. It looks pretty good, right? It looks pretty good. Uh, you go away. You can go near my villagers. Thank you very much. And we're going to have them lined up all along here, and we can just keep trading with them whenever we want to. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time tonight making sure that all the Fletchers and stuff are in their uh, respective places. I'll get this librarian set up, even though we hate him. Um, and then we'll just go on from there. Oh, would you look at that. Another rainbow to start the day off. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, right. So last night, I got all these guys situated into their facilities and today we're just going to be pretty much just sprucing them up a little bit getting a couple trades done if we can um and also making some more redstone lanterns because that is really not enough although on the topic of that i'm pretty sure i don't even have enough redstone to do that so that's uh, also going to be something we need to do there we go look at that beautiful um i don't know whether or not i want to actually have those like that or maybe have them come down to from here and then they go up one right like that like, how does that look compared? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that does look a little bit better. And then, I mean, if I wanted to, I could add just, like, some little stairs here like that would be okay. It'll just make trading a little bit janky, but that does... Yeah, that's a nice trade hall feel. That's that's nice. That's nice. I uh, I like this. This is this is good. So I'll do the same for this side over here real quick. Okay, so now that all that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the farm, harvest all the crops, and we're going to start breeding the villagers up top to uh, actually get some more trading going with the ones down bottom. Oh, God, there's a witch. Oh, my. Where did the... What? Hello? Where did the witch come from? Uh, well, there's a witch over there now. Okay, that's nice to know. Could have just been insta-killed right there. So, now what I want to do is I want to just double-check if we do have any redstone. I don't think we do. Uh, we have one. Okay. Uh, in that case, then, let me just throw some of this wood away in here. And then we'll head back down the mines in search of some redstone. Why is there two iron golems down here? You okay, buddy? Them guys up there got too much for you. I, I, I sympathize, buddy. I sympathize. Right. Let's hope that there is some good, good redstone down here. And I don't have to be looking all night. I would really appreciate just finding some, you know? Wouldn't mind stumbling across some iron while I was down here as well. That would be um, even nicer because I'm pretty low on it. I have three. Okay, if I was redstone, I personally 
would uh, situate myself a little bit further down and to the left. That's a dead end. <gasps> yes! Okay, brilliant. Uh, there was literally an unexplored cave area that I'd like walked over earlier uh, and didn't want to go down it because it was dark. Um, but now I am slightly more confident in myself. We are here and there's redstone in it. So that's great. <gasps> oh, there's even more redstone. There's also a skelly over there too. So don't come close. Don't do it. Ooh. Okay, well, I was going to go get that redstone, but I don't think that that literal army of creepers is uh, is worth it. Not going to lie. Not, not going to go down there. What a night that was. So we had actually a pretty good mining session down there. We got a little bit of iron restocked, a little bit of gold, and the most important thing for now, a couple stacks of redstone. Well, almost a couple stacks. So what we're going to do straight away is I'm going to grab my, where is my glowstone? There it is. Lovely. And we're just going to craft up like a whole bunch of redstone lanterns. I don't know exactly how many I need. I think that 31 should do the entirety of the villager breeder area thing. Oh, I don't even have enough to make 31, but 28 should be should be enough. Hello, my fellow villagers. Hopefully none of you got, like, jumped in the night and turned to zombies. I don't know how you would have, but hopefully you didn't. Nope, we're all looking good. Okay, beautiful. So I'll lay these down up here. All right, there we go. Look at that now. Much brighter down here. Now, there is still quite a lot of stuff I need to do down here, obviously. I need to get more villagers up in here. I need to get the actual floor done, and I need to add some more lanterns around. But other than that, I think this is coming along pretty well. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to make some of these real quick and then I'm going to go and grab my armorer and then bring him into the trader hall as well. And then I think over the next couple days we'll start making some progress on getting our full decked out diamond armor and hopefully enchanting it with some good stuff. So we'll need probably a couple more librarians and uh, maybe a couple more fletchers depending on how the XP goes. I don't know. Okay, buddy. Where are you? What? Hello? Are you in here? Hello? Huh? What happened to my armor? What? Did he did he actually jump down? Absolute madman. Okay, well, you know what? We can make another armor. I will use one of you up there. Well, buddy, it's your lucky day. You're coming with me. Uh, no, come back. Come back. No. I want you. I don't want anybody else. Oh, fine. You, 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 you. Get in. Yes, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Go on. Go on. Yes, there we go. Good. Oh, great. Now he's stuck in the boat too. Amazing. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Um... I can't do anything about this. Yes, go down there. Go down there. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Okay, I've saved one. If the other guy goes and gets lost somewhere, then I don't really I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't really care. Yes. Okay, right. Uh, we do need to level him up again, but that's that's fine. Uh, you, if you're already wanting to trade me things, let, where's my boat? Where's my boat? Did I get my boat back? I don't have my boat. Do you, have, do you still have that? Ah, yeah, it's still in there. Okay, no worries, no worries. You can keep it. It's a little souvenir. You can you can keep that with you and remember how you got here, you know? You, however, good sir, shall be going in this boat. Yes. So we're four Fletchers strong right now, popping off on them. All right, so it is getting dark now. So what I'm thinking is we head to bed and then in the morning... We can go get a whole bunch more trees because I think we are kind of low on wood. Yeah, we're not looking too great and there's not really too much in there. And then after we've grabbed our wood, we can trade with the villagers and make some more bank and then start leveling up the armor guy again. Oh, and there's yet another rainbow to start off the day once again. All right, so how much wood is all these trees going to give me? I'm going to take all these spruce trees down, every single one of them, or at least mainly the big ones. Oh, hello, buddy. I heard you groaning around the trees. I didn't actually know where you were, but I don't know how you got all the way over here. You've really, like, ran out of the nether, haven't you? Oh, my God. Right, okay, so that is all of the trees, excluding a couple of the small ones. My axe is not looking too great. However, we should be able to get a decent chunk of trading done with these. Any trading goodies in here? Okay, we have a stack of emeralds. Okay, okay, okay. We've got a little bit more than I thought we did. Okay, hello, good sirs. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so from all of that trading, we only did three of them, uh, and they've not refreshed. Oh, no, they have just refreshed. Okay, wait, I'll be back to you once I've traded it with those as well. Okay, so I thought I was recording that, but apparently I wasn't. Uh, we went and traded with this guy for a little bit, uh, got a whole bunch of trades done with him, and now he sells diamond armor. Not a full set, because I've not leveled him up fully, because he stopped trading me helmets, but we did manage to pick ourselves up some diamond leggings with them breaking one. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So before we call things a day for today, 
today, I'm going to go and trade the rest of my, em well, I'll say the rest of my emeralds, however many it takes to get a full set of diamond armor from this guy. And then I don't know whether or not I want to focus on getting like a couple more librarians and then focusing out on protection for feather falling as well. Just solely then I know what I'm going to get and I'm not wasting XP on the table. But at the end of the day, I'm not too fussed either way we do it. And then you're going to give me 18 and 22. I don't know if I can afford that. So I'm breaking three. Oh, I don't need the chest plate. So yeah, we just need the helmet. There we go. All right. Full set of diamond armor. Looking very, very fresh. Look at that. Woo. Finally. Like what? Day 52? Day 51? Jesus. Okay. Which one of you is going to be the lucky one to come downstairs with me and be my protection for guy? I'm not feeling you. You're just kind of chilling on the bed. You seem lazy to me. As a matter of fact, you'll do perfect. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. There we go. Okay. Bye. I should probably go out the other door, to be fair. They're all gathered over here. Stop. Just stop being dramatic. Come on, man. It's just a little bit of wall suffocation. You know, we've all been through it. So I guess I'll see you when we actually end up with something that we want. Oh, I see. Look at the sea straight away. He's going to be like the other guy. You better not be, buddy. You better not be. Ooh, Feather Falling 2. Okay, you know what? I'll take Feather Falling. I'll take Feather Fallen just solely because then I can combine it and then that's already out of the way. If I get this trade out of the way quick enough, we'll be able to um, actually go and grab another villager from upstairs and bring them down to trade for Protection 4 as well. So we'll end up getting both of them out of the way on the same day. That would be the most optimal thing I could do right here. Hello, I know you leveled up. I don't really care. I just want your emerald. There we go. You too. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay, buddy. Give me... Oh, you're 22! Jeez. Okay, right. Well, I'll grab two of them then. I'll get Feather Falling 3. Uh, I can't really level you up anymore. So we've got Feather Falling 3. We need two more, and then we've got Feather Falling 4. Okay. Right. Let me just go uh, kidnap another one of these guys up here. We're not going to put up a fight, are we? We're just going to get in the boat. We're just going to get in the boat. There we go. And then hopefully no one comes out of those doors. That's where making our escape. Oh, someone literally came out of the doors. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. No. Why? Why? Throw you down here like that. Oh, you're already, you're already doing it. Okay, I'll just keep you in the boat then while I do it, if you're wanting to do it this way. Yeah, this was, makes my life easier. Don't have to block you in or anything. <gasps> there it is. Oh my god, straight off the bat as well. Okay, so I'll lock his trades in place. That is a little bit expensive, not gonna lie. I'm not too happy about that one, but at least, at least we've got a protection trade now. Ah, 23, man, that sucks. That really, really sucks. Uh... I do have, thinking about it now, I do have the pumpkins and stuff in the house. So if I can go and trade those real quick, maybe I'll be able to get enough. I highly doubt it, but it's worth a, it's worth a shot. Hello, Creeper. You stay right over there. Thank you very much. I was going to go trade them tonight, but this village has uh, quite a few skellies in it. So we're not going over there right now. So the first objective today is... Oh my god, wait, hang on a minute. I had a whole chest of spruce wood here from... I don't even know when, but it's here and I also have bucks as well. Oh my god, okay, that's going to be super, super useful. All right. Now, as I was saying, I do want to go and... Uh, go away. Go away. Go away. There we go. I want to go and trade some things with you, my good fellow, because I don't know if you're... Yeah, you're taking pumpkins. Lovely. All right, and then you're taking melons as well. Brilliant. So it is protection three, which means that I'm going to have to double down every time I get it. Oh, yeah, no, this is going to be... This is going to suck real bad. So we can get... That's one protection four. Yeah, we're not really going to make too much progress with that. Can I just get the feather falling out of the way then? Right, let me just go throw some stuff in the anvil and we'll see what we can do. All right, so I know that that chest plate is already protection three. So we've got two of those... I didn't buy a third, did I? No. Okay, so it's kind of pointless putting that in there then. So what we'll do is we'll combine Feather Falling 2, get Feather Falling 3. And then if I put that on my boots and then I add another Feather Falling 3, it'll make it Feather Falling 4. So I can just do that. I don't know if that'll be more expensive to do though, probably. We'll get Protection 4 on the chest plate. And then we'll also get Protection 3 on our leggings as well. No, actually, it'd be a good idea to put them on the boots as well, wouldn't it? If I did that, and then I got my boots, because if I get protection on my boots, it helps with feather falling, I think. I'm not too sure. That was a little bit expensive, but now, look at that. Okay, protection four, protection three, and breaking three. Okay, we're not looking too amazing, but it's better than it was. And now, at the very least, I can tank falls like double or triple the distance. And yeah, look, it didn't even do anything to me. I was slightly scared doing that. Okay, one last check to see if you guys have refreshed. You have and you're scamming me now. Okay. Okay, so 47 is enough to grab two. I think I need two more of these, right? Oh, do I have Feather Falling 4 on my boots? What do I... 
What happened here? Okay, so I need to add... Yeah, I could have just put the feather fallings together and then put the protection on. I didn't think of this for some reason. Okay, so I've kind of just made that a little bit more expensive, but that's that's fine. May as well grab another protection three. Okay, we're going to give Traden a break for now, and I'm just going to go and work on a little kind of garden area outside for the villagers. I also want to do up the outside of my house and the area surrounding it a little bit as well. I'm thinking path-wise, I might go with like a cobblestone diorite. Is it diorite, the gray one? Oh no, andesite, andesite. Cobblestone, andesite, and maybe gravel mix for the path. I think that would look pretty good. Don't really know how much cobblestone and andesite I have. Yeah, okay, well, there we go. We've got no andesite. Ooh, we've got tough as well, but does tough look like cobblestone at all or like andesite at all? I think it's like slightly darker, right? Yeah, but I mean, that still looks pretty good, right? Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down here for tonight into the mines and we're going to see if I can find any andesite lurking around. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll grab the stuff that we need to make the path and whatnot. Um, we'll grab some coal while we're down here. And then in the morning, we'll start making things look a little bit nicer and adding some more depth and decoration to things. All right, nighttime mining went pretty well. Um, I did get a little bit of coal, like I said I would, and six pieces of iron, which I don't actually remember picking up, but we've got them. Now, I think this should be enough andesite and gravel. Uh, maybe not enough gravel, but we should be okay either way. What we want to do is we'll take these over here and then we'll start work on a little path. Now, I don't know whether or not I want it to be like completely like solid three blocks all the way around. I think that might look good, but then it'll make it look kind of new and less rustic. So I don't know. We'll, we'll test out this little area here with the full path. And then if that don't work out, we'll try something else. Uh, to be fair, that's not too bad. So we'll do this for the whole path then, and we'll see how it comes out. So I need to take this directly down the middle, which, oh, that's already lined up perfectly, isn't it? So we'll get rid of this, and I think maybe when we get to, like, here, we'll stop the normal path and add, like, a nice stone brick floor design. I think that would look pretty nice. All right, I'll see you once we've got some more paths down. Okay, there we go. That's looking a little bit more decrepit now. Um, I'm not too sure, though, about the cobblestone. I think I might think about replacing it with normal stone because I think that might look a little bit better. Now, for these little bits, I'm thinking we could add... Oh, I don't know. Would a tree look good here? Like a small little tree? I don't want to make it too noisy, but I think that would look pretty good. And then maybe some, like, little ponds. I do like my little ponds. Uh, I could do with some lily pads, to be fair, for those, but... It's not the end of the world if I don't have them right now. All right, so pond-wise, I'm thinking maybe two little ponds. Uh, not symmetrical, not symmetrical. We don't want symmetry in here, even though everything else is symmetrical. But I think we'll go, like, kind of around like this and over here a little bit. Bring it down around there like that. And then kind of back on itself here like this. Is that like a perfect circle? No, it's not, but that actually looks pretty good, to be fair. There we go. That's quite nice. Especially with a little bit of, like, greenery around it. Maybe a little bit of bamboo, too, if we can find some of that. That'd be real good. There we go. Okay. And then maybe a little tree over here. It would be nice to get an azalea, but I understand that, you know, we might not find one of those. So we'll put an oak tree there for now. And then maybe another oak tree right over here would be would be very nice. Now, on day 55, I started work on the interior floor of the trading hall and couldn't really decide on a pattern that I wanted to go with. But eventually, after some trial and error, I found something that I kind of liked and looked good enough to finish off the floor with. Once the floor was done, I got to work on adding an actual entrance to the hall itself. And now I'm not a massive fan of how this turned out, but it will do for now. After all the stuff with the trading hall was done, I did some work on the beginning of a pathway way leading from my house to the villager breeder before going to bed and spending the majority of day 56 gathering materials and finishing off the path for now. And I'm not gonna lie, I really do think that everything's kind of coming together pretty nicely. The path is really starting to just connect things together, which is like the entire point of a path. But yeah, so it, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. All right, so last night and the day before, we got a little bit of stuff done inside here. It's looking pretty good. I'm not too sure about this entrance though. We may have to tweak that, but the actual interior of here now is done for the most part. I don't know what I'm going to do with this bit right here. Probably, I don't know, I have a gate or something if I do level this area out. I have no idea. But other than that, we've got this little path now leading from our house to the actual breeder. Um, and it might look a little bit janky right now, especially from like a bird's eye view, but that's just solely because I need to fill in the, uh, the rest of this one over to the mine and then actually build up like a little mine area. I saw a really nice design a few months ago and I've still not got around to building it, so we'll probably 
probably use that for that one. But I think for now, I want to go and finish up my trades for protection four. And then we also want to start work on getting ourselves some ender pearls because we are wanting to head there. I would say somewhat soon within the next 20 days would probably be a nice number to shoot for. And I also would like to get some slow falling potions as well, because I mean, it's kind of stupid going in there without them. Like if I can get them, especially with one heart, it's kind of stupid going in there without them. So yeah, we may as well grab some of those before we head in as well. Oh, there goes the axe. Okay, I didn't pay attention to that. Well, we need another diamond axe now. So I'll go grab myself a new axe. I'll finish chopping down those trees. Probably a couple more will grow in the meantime. And then we'll get straight to trading once we've got all the stuff we need. I guess while we're here though, we can just break all this wood down that we've got and get this traded up. Okay, trading time. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yep, there we go. There's like half the sticks gone already. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so level 28 from all this trading. Is anybody else going to refresh? Are you going to refresh? No. Okay, well, we definitely need more Fletchers still. But this will do for now. I mean, that's like a couple. I think that's like three or four books. Okay, so we've got two more Protection 3s. One more Protection 4 total. Okay, all right. Okay, Anvil, how many uses you got left? You're not looking... Yeah, you're not looking too great. Okay, so... First things first, we'll get Feather Falling 2 and Feather Falling 2. Throw them bad boys in there. And then you. Ooh, that's expensive, man. Okay, right. And then we'll do Protection 3. Protection 3. Get Protection 4. Lovely. Is that? That's Protection 4 already. So we'll go for the... Okay, I can throw that in there, but I don't think I've got... Yeah, I do not have enough levels for that. Um, but I can probably get away with my leggings, right? They've not really been in the anvil before. Protection 4. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then we've got Unbreaking 3 on the helmet. So we don't really need to do too much more, actually. We need two more Protection 3 books, and then we're done. Um, and I think that's about it. I mean, I could get, like, Aqua Efficiency or Depth Strider, but I'm not really too fussed about those. Oh, all right. Okay. So I'll spend the rest of the evening chopping down the rest of these trees over here, as is customary for this video. And then hopefully tomorrow we can get the last of the trading done for the armor. And then I can't really think of too much else I need to trade for directly. All right. So let's just get to trading up all of the wood we have on us here, or at least the amount that will allow us to trade with them. And then we'll grab the last books and then be done with it. And then probably head into the nether to go and grab some pearls because there was a blue biome earlier. So we'll go check that out. We'll grab Grab the pearls from there and then we'll start making our way to the end okay buddies wh why have you not refreshed hello please refresh you refreshed no no one refreshed I, I i can't afford anything please please refresh i beg uh can i have trade like anything else flint perhaps no you got any trades paper maybe but we don't even have that much sugar cane i never upgraded the farm refresh please one more that's all i ask i just literally need one more and then you have like no use to me beautiful okay thank you buddy I think, I think that should be enough for the last two books. Do we even have, I only have one book on me. Is there any more in here? Okay, uh, you? Yes. Okay, one and two. Yes, we're finally done with it. I don't know if I'm going to have the XP to put these things on, but if we don't, I'll do some more trading, I guess. I still need to replace the floor down here. It's still just an absolute mess. I don't like it. Okay, so boots and a helmet. So if I go boom, boom. Oh, God, that's so expensive. Okay, all right. Maybe let's not do that then. And we'll throw protection four there. Go boom, boom. And then there we go. Okay, so we've got prop four in the helmet. We just need the boots that are set at protection three. So, you know, it could be worse. It could be worse. All right, so the, the bow is not doing too well. Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome to my house. Uh, do you want to go in? you want to go inside? Come on. You're welcome. Go on. Go on. There we go. Got a friend now. Oh, I also need to go and get my dog from the nether. <laughs> it's just been sat in there the whole time, and I'm not really too... Like, I just keep forgetting about it. I went through so much hassle to get that dog, and now I just don't, like, have him around. Okay, so the objective then is to go and grab some pearls. I would like looting for this, but it's fine. They're going to drop them anyway. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves a golden helmet, and we're going to head straight back into the nether and go and grab ourselves some pearls. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! That was so close! Did you see that? He hit me and he didn't kill me! He hit me and he didn't kill me! Oh! Ah! Help! Help! How am I not dying? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he just go through the portal again? Oh my god, I am so scared! I am so scared! They did not do like any damage! Damn, dude! Protection 4 helps! I thought I was done! That was. Oh! <laughs> God, that was so close. Okay, well, at least I know I can tank things now. I, 
Oh my. All right. I need a minute to recover from that. <laughs> I wonder where the baby zombies that chased me into my house went. There was also a big one in here too. I don't know where the hell he came from. <laughs> All right. So with the uh, the rude introduction back to the nether out of the way, uh, I'll head over to this blue biome over here and see if we can find ourselves some endermen. <laughs> Okay, right, that should be enough. I think we actually had a couple at home, so we didn't need to go and grab all 12, but we have them now, so we'll head back home, craft up the eyes, and then I guess we can go and head out and see what we can find. Okay, so apparently we only had one eye back here, but that's fine. It should be okay. I think we'll get enough from these. Yeah, 18. Boom, boom. There we go. All right. So I think... If I take enough food with me, I mean, I'm not going to go into the end right now, but it'd be nice to find the fortress, I think. So I guess we'll just throw an eye out and see where it goes. Okay, that's kind of swerved then, didn't it? Don't break, please. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess I'll grab a little bit more wood and then we'll head out and uh, see where this fortress is. Or stronghold, I should probably say. All right, so we'll throw this over here. Where are we going? Straight over the ocean. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, new land. Lovely, lovely. I'll, uh, I'll pop another eye over here to see if it is in this region or whether or not I've passed it in the ocean. I hope I've not passed it. I really hope it's not underwater, but we'll find out. Okay, boom. Where'd it go? Okay, we're still going this way. Okay. Oh, another village. Hello. Oh, there's a blacksmith in there too as well. Hello, what have you got for me? What have you got for me? Ah, oh, okay, two pieces of iron and a couple apples. All right, amazing. Okay, I don't know what I expected. Okay, have we passed it yet? Because we've been going... A little while. No, it's still over this way. Okay, all right. I can't believe it. We found like one village this entire time, and then walking this way, we find two back to back. Crazy. All right, this seems like a good enough place to throw an eye. Are we still going? Are we? Go oh, we passed it. Okay, all right. So it's around here somewhere. Don't break. Thank you. Okay, we'll go a little bit over here then. Is it like around here? Back this way. Okay. Okay, so it should be around here, right? No, it's still telling me this way. What? I'm literally back to that other village right through it. Wh where are we going here? Did I go down? Oh, well, we're going down. It's right here. Oh, hello. Anything? Oh, oh, there's not some good stuff down here. There's some bad stuff down here. Okay, right. We're in a cave. This is the way out of the cave. It should be... Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. That is not what I want down here. Um... I, I think the eye malfunctioned. I think you led me to the wrong place. I did not want to be anywhere near this blue, shiny skulk. Please don't tell me. Okay, I think this is just like a little skulk patch. I don't know the dangers associated with such things. I never really come across them, but I see it. Pickaxe has seen better days at this point. I hope to God we don't fall down into something bad. Ooh, lava right there. Hello. Hello. There's nothing bad awaiting me down here, is there? Surely he can only spawn in the cities, right? Surely. Oh, go away. Go away. Stronghold, hello. Hello? Where is this stronghold, man? I do not see any form of a stronghold right here. I might have to go deeper into this cave over here. Huh? Oh, but it's just you. Hello. Okay, I think I've found it. I think I've found it. I think we're right underneath some area of it. There we go. Okay. Uh, ooh, a library. Hello. Perhaps sharpness. Perhaps looting. Hmm. Oh, there's the spawner. Not the spawner. The, yeah, technically a spawner, but I meant the portal. There we go. All right. How many eyes do we require? Okay, we need 11. Yeah, so we just need two more. Uh, maybe we could find a pearl in this chest over here. Would be nice. I hear a skelly somewhere around. Ow. Oh, you're up there. Hello. Where's the chest? Oh, it's literally where I came in. Okay. Any eyes? So we've got efficiency four. I'll take that and multi-shot and then just multi-shot as a whole. Pass up on that one. Okay, what we're going here, efficiency four again. Amazing. And multi-shot loyalty three. I'll pass on that one, my good friend. Okay, we'll have a little look around this place to see if there are any more, like, uh, pearls lurking around. Because then I can actually get the portal up and running now. But if we can't find any, it's not the end of the world. I will just grab some when we go back home because we're not actually heading in there now. Just down to the fact that I really do need slow falling potions because without them, I, it's literally going to be over real quick. I'm not going to lie. My bucket clutches aren't terrible, but they're not 100%. Fire protection three and power four. Ooh, that means we can get power five in our bow. What do you have for me, good sir? Ooh, damn. I'll take another efficiency. I'll take them all. Uh, get rid of you. And then what have you got? Mending. Ooh, big. All right. Throw the gold helmet in there. We ain't need that. Another dead end. Okay. And if I follow you down, are you going to lead to a dead end as well? Ooh, no. You lead to another chest with a pearl. Oh, yes. Amazing. 
great. Okay, right. So we've got the eyes we need now. Oh, could you imagine running through one of these things, right? When it was like covered in skulk. It's right next to an ancient city. I don't even know if they can spawn like that, but just, just imagine that. That'd be absolutely awful. Okay, so this is the chest we came in and got initially. So the portal should be just through here to our... Nope, that's a dead end. Should be just through here and then to our right after this little door right here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, great. So we'll get this bad boy lit up right now. Make sure to not accidentally head in. That was very loud. And then I guess we'll head our way back home. We've been out here like a couple days at this point. Um, I'm going to have to condense that down quite a bit because that took a very long time. But I guess we'll head back home. I'll dig up directly from next to the portal. I've already got the coordinates written down. And uh, I'll let you know if anything interesting or important happens on our way back. But I think it's going to be a pretty uneventful walking and sailing journey. Now, once I got back from the stronghold, I really did need to kill some time to give phantoms a chance to spawn in, so that that way I could grab some slow-falling potions. So I decided to put this time to good use, and began building up an actual entrance to the mine, so that that way the path from the house actually has, like, some form of building to connect to. But let me tell you, this has to have been one of the worst builds I think I've ever done. Just solely because I couldn't decide on a design I wanted to go with, or even wanted it to look like. So I pretty much wasted the entirety of day 64 on just building up and breaking down every single idea I had. And then was back to square one by the end of the day. However, things did take a change for the better on day 65, because after a couple more teardowns and rebuilds, I finally decided on a design to go with that I actually like. And so I spent the rest of the day building that up, as well as bringing the path over and connecting it up, and then, by the end of the day, we now had a nice little mine building connected to the path. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of liking this one. It's not like the best idea I had, but it looks pretty good. I also noticed, by the way, that the image I followed for reference was actually a link to a YouTube video thumbnail, so I'll link the video down in the description because I don't just want to yoink someone's build, okay? So just, yeah, go check that out if you want to build this mine. Alright, so what I'm thinking about doing is I kind of want to go and grab some ancient debris because it's something that I've not really thought about, but like just having the extra protection with netherite might help me with the dragon. I don't know. I, I really don't know how much damage I can tank, um, but to get some ancient debris, we probably need a new pickaxe because efficiency 2 isn't going to cut it and it's also low on durability as well. But what I'm thinking about now is we actually had some there. Yeah, there we go. There we Ooh, yeah. Okay, right. Um, we're going to put them to good use by throwing them on the pickaxe. I'll repair the pickaxe and then we shall throw these books on it right here. See, that's not too bad. Five's not too bad, but I feel like this one's going to be expensive, right? Yeah, 11. Okay. Well, I'll go trade some sticks up real quick and then we'll throw the, what is it, efficiency four? Efficiency four on the pick and then get to work in the nether trying to find some debris. So now we just come back here and go boom, boom. It would help if they were in the right order. There we go. Boom. All right. So we'll grab, actually, let me grab a fire resistance potion first before we leave. I'll take a couple because I don't know how long we're going to be in there. But I'm just thinking that time's still going to progress while we're in the nether. So we may as well just go and get some ancient debris, which is quite a, an annoying task whilst we're waiting for the phantoms to spawn because i don't think that they'll come tonight i believe it should be tomorrow night so we may end up spending like today and tomorrow in here trying to find some debris i would really like to get enough for armor i'm not really too fussed for weapons right now i think armor is the the way to go for my survival okay right here seems like nice enough of a spot let's go down and see what lurks below ah okay uh that's not what we want to find down here believe it or not i don't know whether or not i want to is that oh hello Okay, I was going to say, I don't know whether or not I want to either strip mine or just go crazy with it, but it seems like going crazy with it, like, has already paid off, so we'll just, we'll do the usual strat then. We'll break anything and everything in sight, except you. Go away. Hey, there we go. Ooh, two in a row. Ooh. Ooh, yes, two vein. Let's go. Okay, we have one piece. We have one piece of armor. Three more to go. Yes. Ooh, two vein, two. Three vein. Oh my days. Okay, let's get it. Yes, thank you. Come here. Yes. Two, three. Big vein, too. Hmm. Okay, so we're at 12. So we've got three pieces. Uh, I don't know whether or not we should continue because the pick is running pretty low and I don't see any quartz around here. So. Oh, never mind. There's some quartz right here. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, another three vein. Hello. 
I've also just noticed I'm getting zero XP from all of this quartz I mine, right? Because it's just going straight into the pickaxe. Like, it's not even high enough for it to divide or anything like that. It's just going straight into the pick right now. <laughs> yes! We are done. Now, do I actually remember my way back up or no? Yeah, this is the way back up. All right, great. No risk of death to lava. Uh, I am just going to pop this fire res potion, though, because I don't trust these magma blocks. Can you please get out of the way, piggies? I can't see. Move. Thank you. Right. Okay. Well, we'll head back home, and then we'll go from there and craft ourselves up some netherite armor. Lovely. Oh, yeah. We're like three quarters away through day 67 right now. So what we'll do is we'll throw our newly found ancient debris into this furnace right here there you go boom then we'll go and grab our gold and craft it up this is still the old way of crafting it because i'm in 119 not 120 i started this video a while ago <laughs> okay then you go and then you go there we go beautiful i was gonna have a little mini panic then and be like oh i haven't got a smithing table no but i have an armorer over here who'll gladly you know let me use this table for a minute after all the things i've done for him i mean just look at this house i built this for him not him specifically but you know he's involved in the group of people that it was built for right boom beautiful 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 and astounding there we go get this gucci helmet off throw this absolutely decked out drip on oh my days all right I guess let's just chill out here and hopefully some phantoms spawn. Ah, hello, good sir. Welcome to my porch. You shall die now. No membrane, though. Oh, hello, buddy. Bap. Bap. Oh, no, wait. Let me bap you. Come here. Bap. No, come here. My aim's terrible. Bap. There we go. No membrane. Okay, amazing. Eh. Come here. Eh. No. There we go. <gasps> yes. Yes. I don't think one will be enough, though. I hear another one. Hello? Eh, go away. No, come here. Actually, no. Yeah, there we go. Okay, two two membranes. Okay, well, two should be enough. Let me go cook up the potions, and then we shall head to bed. And then I think that we're, like, pretty much ready to take on the dragon. I'm not too sure. Oh, wait, no. We I think we need to get some strength potions. That'd probably be a good idea. Just solely because it'll just speed up the amount of time it'll take us to kill the dragon. Like, it'll take us significantly less time if we have strength. Okay, we've got a little bit of food. I actually completely forgot that we had, like, some cooked chicken and pumpkin pie in the food chest. So, we have them now. Um, and let's go and try and find ourselves some iron. Now, it would be nice to actually have fortune. But I don't think that that's, like, a possibility right now. So, we'll just head down and see what we can find. Now, I spent the rest of the day stacking up on as much iron as possible for my golem army. Along with grabbing any gold I found along the way to use on crafting up some gapples to actually help my chances of not dying to the dragon. And I even ended up finding a few diamonds while I was down here too, so that was a nice little bonus. Once I came back up from the mines, I spent day 69 smelting down all of the ores that I gathered, as well as crafting up some iron blocks and a bunch of gapples. Alright, so we've got everything we're going to need now. We've got all the potions, including slow falling strength and fire resistance. As a matter of fact, the fire resistance isn't coming with us, so it doesn't matter. Um, but we also have 21 gapples. Now, I'm going to pop one of these real quick just to see if they do give me temporary hearts. Which they do! Okay, great. Now, that's not going to be for long, but we get absorption too, so we can actually tank just a little bit of damage, which is just amazing. Now, I think the only thing holding us back and stopping me from going to the end right now is the fact that we don't have any pumpkins, so I can't actually go and make my golem army. So I'm going to head over to the farm. Oh my god, this place is like really filled up with trees now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head over to the farm. We're going to go and try and farm up some pumpkins. I should probably grab some bone meal before I go over here to help speed things up. So we'll get these a little bit boosted up right here. And then I guess we just kind of wait for them to grow. There's not really much else I can do for the pumpkins other than wait for them. Although, if I remember correctly, there might be some, like, just standard pumpkins, I think, over here. Like, from the very beginning. I don't know if I picked them all up. I think I only picked up, like, a couple. So we'll go check. There's no harm in checking. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not seeing any pumpkins. I am, however, seeing some bees. Hello. And a ruined portal. Did we check this one out already? I'm going to go over to it anyway because we can get that gapple back that I just ate because I see the gold block on top. Hello, ruined portal. Have we been to you before? Have I reaped the rewards yet? Um, Kind of hard to tell if I have, but I'll take that shovel. Um, And I guess I'll take this gold block and we shall head back home and I guess just kind of wait out the pumpkins. I'm actually so scared to go to the end. Like, I've not been this nervous since, like, the first ever 100 days video I recorded. I didn't want to die in the end. 
And now I'm, I'm getting that level of anxiety again. All the way at the very beginning when I started doing this. I, I don't know. I've never been this kind of like on edge to go. I mean, can you blame me? I literally have one heart. I will get one tap to buy everything. Everything. I don't really think the netherite is going to help too much in there, but you know what? We've got it. Hopefully, the fall damage is slightly lessened. Another thing I'm not too worried about is um, my armor durability because I literally avoid taking damage at every chance I get, so I'm not really worried about it running out considering I'm not really getting hit. It's just there for if I do. Damn, would you look at this area right here? This is really coming along. I need like a, like a water feature or something, something to really make things, you know, come together and stand out. I don't know, I'll kind of brainstorm over the next couple days after we've killed the dragon and whatnot, but yeah, we definitely need like a, a centerpiece for this place. I really don't know what to do right now because I don't want to just sit around and waste time waiting for the pumpkins just to test out my stupid little experiment, which I think will be quite fun. Um, I kind of want to do something productive while waiting for them to grow, you know, like maybe start work on, on, on something that we're going to have as kind of like the statement piece for the for the build this time around, or I don't know. I guess I'll see over the coming days, but I can't really do much right now without those pumpkins growing. So I'll have a little brainstorm of ideas of what I want to build, and I'll be back to you with either A, me building it, or B, an idea. Alrighty, so I've actually come up with an idea of what we're going to put here now, alright? I was originally going to do like an enchantment tower, but I did a little test build of it in another world and it wouldn't fit in here. It'd be too small and it wouldn't look good enough. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to make a giant pond and then we're going to wall it off at the back all the way around to like there. Then number one, it'll give us a little bit more security over this side of the little area we've got right here. And number two, it'll get rid of that ugly um, <laughs> portion of the build right there that is just kind of sitting like an unloaded chunk. I've made myself step-by-step -step instructions to make this pond, okay? I know the exact coordinate it starts on, and I know exactly every single block I have to break to do it looking good. So we're going to get to work on that, and whilst we're working on that, we'll go and also harvest any pumpkins that grow in the meantime. So yeah, I'm going to get to work on this pond. I will uh, see you once it's done. I don't know how long it'll take me. I think I'll only really be able to get the pond done um, in this next day or so because the wall itself is going to be quite expensive and I don't really want to do that right now. We'll probably do that when we get back from the end. So on day 71, I got to work on digging out a little area for the pond. Now, I say little, but it's actually kind of big. But either way, I followed a step-by-step -step instructional guide that I made for myself very, very jankily and actually managed to get the whole area dug out and even filled in with water before the sun went down. Also, filling in this pond made me remember just how broken Minecraft water physics are. <laughs> it's so goofy. After flooding the pond, I spent the night smelting down some cobble into some stone, and then on day 72, began working on some statues slash decorations slash fountains, whatever you want to call them, but they're frogs, and I actually think they were a pretty good addition to the pond itself. After being finished with the frogs for now, I went around and added some greenery under the water, as well as building up this kind of fishing deck thing, I don't really know, but it looks good, and then went around placing down a few walls and lanterns, and boom, the pond is really starting to come together now, but we are still very, very far from it being done. But hey, you know what? I'll take the progress. It's looking pretty good. Wow, okay, well, this is looking much better than I thought it would. This is looking really good. Now, it's still nowhere near in the ballpark of being done. We still need to add the wall, which is going to take... I don't think it'll take too long, but I think it's going to be very resource heavy, so we'll need to get, like, a lot of stone. Um, I also need to find a lush cave because I need azaleas because they're part of the wall. Don't ask why. You'll, you'll see in the wall what they'll look like. But, yeah, so we need a lush cave. We need... Um, I think maybe a couple more pumpkins because I managed to get 13. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I can just literally just divide this up, can't I? Yeah, I can. Okay, this is enough pumpkins. We'll get eight golems. But I don't really know, <laughs> number one, if eight will survive or anything. But you know what? It's better than going in with none. So what we're going to do is we're going to gear ourselves up. I do want to repair my bow before we go. And then we'll head to the end, take a bunch of arrows because we don't have infinity. And I'm thinking now, when it comes to the actual fight with the dragon... I don't want to, like, when it goes in the middle, I don't want to go and hit it there because it can deal, like, damage to you pretty quickly. And I don't really want to risk getting, like, one-tapped by the dragon because I think that's, like, the only thing that can still, like, immediately one-tap me other than, like, the warden or maybe a creeper. So I'm not too sure if I put an unenchanted bow in here, whether or not it'll take the enchant off. I don't know. I've played this game, like, all my life and I still do not know. Okay, no, it doesn't. It's nine levels. And there goes my anvil. Okay, great. So, I guess I'll grab the potions, and then we shall head in and face our greatest foe yet. 
again, it's for like the hundredth time I've killed this thing so many times, but never on one heart. So this is going to be something. So I guess for now, we bid our lovely new area farewell for now. And uh, we head back over towards the stronghold, which I did write down the coordinates, but I'm trying to remember them in my head and I have no clue which way it is. So let me just check that real quick. Okay, we've got the coordinates down in the chat. Let's head over back to the stronghold and hopefully make it there unscathed. Okay, and here we are once again. Now, I don't actually understand why it takes so long to get here. I know exactly where it is, but the amount of like hills and stuff I have to traverse is ridiculous. So anyways, enough about actually getting here. Let's get our potions ready and then I guess just head in. You know, there's not really much else we can do at this point. We've got to go and take this boyo down, hopefully without going down ourselves. I don't know, like I say, how useful the golems are going to be, but we'll find that out very quick. Oh, I actually need to carve the pumpkins before we go in. That would have been pretty disastrous, right? Okay, all right. We've got those arrows. We should have more than enough arrows. Um, the bow will do some decent damage, especially stacked with the strength potions. We should be good. So I guess without any further ado, I'm not going to pop my slow falling just yet because I don't think that we'll be in any immediate danger. Um, we'll go in. If we're underground, we'll dig up and get to the actual area where we can build the golems. And then we'll pop our potions. Hopefully the golems help us out and we'll take this thing down. So without any further ado, oh, let's go. I'm so scared. Okay, so we are in a place where we immediately need to pop the slow falling. All right, amazing. This shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. So long as we avoid the dragon for the most part, we should be okay. So let me just build up a few of these guys. Could have maybe made them close to the center, but you know what? It's fine. There we go, yes. Oh, they're already slapping people up. Oh my god. Oh god, this is not going well at all. Oh my god, they're just destroying the Enderman. I'll build a couple in the center. I don't know if they're going to really help out with the dragon or not, but this is going to be... <laughs> well, this will keep the Enderman population down at least. Oh god, I heard it shoot. Okay, and the last guy. There you go, buddy. Welcome. Welcome to the world where you're going to protect me forever. Right, okay. Let's get on with the towers now. Ooh, that was close. Nobody get out. Don't die. I need you. Jeez, this guy is really wanting to like hit me with the dragon's breath. Oh my god. Absolute insane, man. Absolute lunatic. Uh, we don't want these. Right, I'm going to pop a gaffle as well, just for if. Uh, and then I guess we'll head up and hopefully not get hit by this guy on our way up. Oh no. Oh, okay, we're good. All right, so this is kind of awkward, but um, I have to jump in and interrupt things right here, kind of break the tension and whatnot, because OBS decided to uh, just completely stop recording right here because the drive I was saving the file to ended up being full. And I didn't actually notice the error for like a solid minute. However, luckily I did fix it, but yeah, sorry about this. There's a little time jump right here from me being an absolute idiot. So sorry about that, we continue. I just realized that replay mod wasn't recording and it's kind of just ruined this whole thing. No. So we took the towers down pretty easily, but like, um, he, he's hit me a couple of times, but the gapples have come in clutch. Uh, like this right here, he's gonna... Oh, okay, he didn't hit me. He might do. Go away. Okay, we can't touch him while he's there, but he is going down. He is going down. Okay, come on, fly off. Fly off, big boy. He's coming for me. Go away. Ow. Stop, man. Jesus. Calm yourself. Not long now until your demise, good sir. Another gapple. Come back around. Yeah. Then I missed anyway. There we go. Come on. Just a couple more. Come on. Please. We're not getting this time. Next time. Next time. Okay. As soon as he moves off that platform, he is gonzo. Come on. Yes, one more. Please. No. Ah, there we go. Oh, my God. Okay, that was terrifying. Oh, that was so scary. And that's so loud. Oh, my God. That was absolutely horrific. Oh, my God. The worst thing about it, though, is that my hard drive ran out of space when I entered here. Like, maybe, like, maybe 30 seconds after. So, OBS just kind of cut off. And I had to notice it. And then, like pause and start again so i'm sorry about that that does really suck uh that <laughs> took away from the whole dramatic build-up of this fight but you know what the golems weren't as cool as i thought they would be okay they did go around slapping everybody up but well there's like two left so they they clearly didn't really do much to help me i think one of them got flown away at one point by the uh the dragon but i'm not too sure but yeah sorry about the uh <laughs> the kind of 
40 seconds of the fight that you couldn't see. Not really much happened, but um, yeah, no, that does definitely suck. So let's go get ourselves an elytra and just go back to normal life and never come back in here again. We'll say that the golems, though, they definitely feel like I could have put the iron to use on pretty much anything else. Now, once again, my luck in the end was absolutely terrible. And after walking and bridging for like 20 minutes and finding absolutely nothing, I did eventually find a city, but it was less than ideal, let's say. <gasps> yes! Please have a ship. Please have a ship. It's been so long. Please. Please, please, please. It looks like a little tiny one. It's probably not going to be a big one. No. I don't care about it if it's not going to ship. <laughs> And uh, no, it's literally the single most pathetic city I have ever seen. What is the point of that? Who lives there? I even think the Shulk has won that one. Well, back to it. Some more walking and bridging over the endless dark abyss, only being one small mistake from my doom. And eventually I found another city, but it was about as useful as the first. <gasps> please, please, please have a ship. Are you kidding me? That's not the same one. No, we're not even in the same area. We've gone so far from there. It's literally just another single one. Why? Who builds these, man? What purpose do they serve? Except to just aggravate me. Give me false hope and then crush it the second I see it. You know what? You know what? I'm taking my anger out on the Shulkers. I'm taking my anger out on the Shulkers. I've had enough of this. Don't know who built these things, but I'm blaming it on you, Shulkers. You're gonna die and I'm gonna put things in you. That sounded worse than it is, but I'm gonna use you as storage, which technically sounds worse as well, but you know what I mean. Right, so do they deflect when they're... Like, you need to just pop your head open a little bit. Just pop it open a little bit. Just pop it open a little bit. Yeah. Come on, again. Yeah. You too. Come on, buddy. Open up again. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I'll speak your own language. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, right. Um, I know there's probably more shulkers in there, but I ain't dealing with it. It ain't worth my time. <gasps> oh. Another? Perhaps with ship? Oh, another? Perhaps with ship? <gasps> Ooh, that one looks promising. That one looks promising. That one looks exactly like the other ones except without the big bit on the top yeah that one actually is pathetic what is the point of that one that's like the worst one i found okay I, this is the most promising one we found to date please please have a ship i'll tell them in their own tongue <laughs> uh no ship <sighs> is it even worth my time going over there probably not yeah there's no ship over there oh my days please <laughs> i want to leave here it's been like I don't even know how long. Okay, well, I guess I'll go take out the two shulkers at the bottom of this one, and then the journey continues. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He's right behind me. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. Whew. Hello, buddy. I don't know what your problem is, but it sure as hell ain't me. I know you ain't coming for me. Yeah, what are you going to do? Your biggest weakness... H2O. Yeah. Oh, oh, God, he ran in here then. Oh, go away. You're like the only thing that can still one-shot me. To just, just go away. No? There we go. Good boy. What was that? I swear I just heard a cat. I just heard a cat in here. Oh, maybe it was my cat. I do have cats IRL, so like that, that, that was probably what it was. Right, hello, buddies. Oh, it was my cat IRL. I hear her now. Speak with me. I know your tongue. There we go. You see, look. There we go. Any shells? Ooh, two shells. Beautiful. Okay, well, I guess it's back to just running aimlessly through this place until I hopefully find a ship. I'll see you at the next false idol I find. Oh, there's another fortress. I actually didn't even notice that. You see, my eyesight's not as good as when I came in here 50 years ago, you know. <sighs> but I don't know why I even bother with this one. It's literally just the same thing. What is it with this end and having these ones, man? There's nothing in them. Like, literally, what? Why is it not generating any big ones? Oh, no, 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 no. I angered another enderman. Go away. Go away. Jeez, I need to stop looking at you guys. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I don't mean to. I've got, like, the same anxiety as you, all right? I don't like being looked at either. I don't like staring at people either, all right? I'm sorry, all right? I'm usually pretty good at not making eye contact. I openly avoid it. Right, there we go. Oh, hello? What was that? <gasps> yes! Oh, my God. Finally. Finally. I don't even know how long I've been in here, man, but it has been, like, a lifetime. It was like 100 days in 100 days, man. That thing was... Oh, finally. Okay, right. Now we actually need to survive this journey. Um, to be fair, I could just tower up to it, which is probably what I'm going to do because I'm really not caring about any of the other loot in there. Um, do we have enough wood to get over there? Possibly. Right, okay. So we want to go right up there. So I'm going to want to grab some end stone before we head over there. Don't know how much it'll take to get up to the ship, but I'll grab like two and a half stacks. That should be... That should be enough. 
Okay, so we'll pop a slow falling potion when we get underneath it just for if the shulkers do hit us. I'm expecting to be hit like once or twice by the one inside. But the ones outside shouldn't really be a problem. I'm really going outside. I'm not too fussed for the head either. I just want this so I can go home and just continue on in my little lovely build area. Ooh, okay, right. We're here. We have arrived. Let me pop a gapple before we go in. Because I don't know how much damage the shulkers are going to do. I hear you, buddy. You shut up. Didn't ask your opinion. Yeah, I can speak it too. Yeah, hit me with it. Go on. Oh, he just ran away. Okay, well, fair enough. I guess I'll just wait for this to disappear and then... Well, we'll go home. Okay, gimme, gimme. Finally. We'll grab these. I think they're instant health, right? Uh, Yeah, we'll grab them. I don't think I'm ever going to use them considering... Wait, yeah, no, they're actually pointless. I don't need them. Instant health is going to revive like one heart. I, like what? Yeah, it's no use to me. Okay, we'll check what's in here. Uh, Fortune 3, efficiency 4, mending, protection 3. Okay. Blast protection 4, mending again. Wow. Well, I guess I'll bring this stuff back with me. And I can throw these in a grindstone to get some XP from them. So I can at least get something. Let's go. Actually, if I can just do this, then I can just fly away, right? Yeah, there we go. It's very slow, but you know what? It works better than not flying. Okay, finally, let's go home. I've had it with this place. I don't want to return ever in my life, really. Why is it raining here? Hello? What was that? Okay, so I'm just going to go and sort through all of the stuff we got. And then, uh, don't know. Wonder what's next. Probably trying to find like a lush cave or something. Because I do really need the, uh, what are they called? The azaleas? I need those. And let's make ourselves a couple of shulkers. Mm -mm -mm. We'll go boom, boom. There we go. And you know what? We do have some red flowers. So we'll just dye them red. Can I do it here? Can I just throw it in there like that? Yes, I can. Okay, great. There we go. Two red shulkers. Well, that was quite the experience, but we're out now. We're good. The bows seem better days, but we're not actually in too bad shape. The armor's still pretty decent because like I say, I'm not taking damage. So yeah, we're pretty good. All right. Okay, so I'm going to harvest up all the sugar cane we have right here. Plus, I got the stuff at the villagers. And then, I guess over the following couple days, we'll make up some fireworks and we'll go and search for a surface azalea tree. All right, great. Fi nine fireworks richer. Amazing. That'll get me like 10 blocks out. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to spend the rest of the day just sorting through my stuff, tidy up my inventory a little bit more, and then plan out what we need to actually do over the next few days. I understand what I need to do, but I need to understand the order in which I want to do it because I do really want to get this area finished off ASAP, but it's going to take a little bit of work with that wall. Okay, so last night, I kind of noticed that I have 67 levels now, thanks to the dragon. So we're going to try and get... Oh, well, we're not because I don't have any lapis, but we're going to try and get looting on our sword because I want to go and kill a few creepers real quick, just solely because nine fireworks just it ain't going to do anything for me. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to do anything whatsoever. So looting would be nice on the first roll. No. Okay. Uh, Do I have any? I do have some like extra diamonds laying around somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, I have seven in there. Okay. Well, we'll just keep making swords then. And then who knows? Maybe we can combine them. We'll have enough XP left over. Looting, please. Ooh, ooh that's... Oh, and he's got loot in three, but Bane of Arthropods. Are you kidding me? Blech. Okay, that's yucky. Try try again, maybe? Knock back two. Looting three. All right, beautiful. That is amazing. So we can probably combine that with a sharpness three. Unless we get something better. Sharpness, there we go. That'll do. So we'll combine that with a sharpness for... Oh, we don't have an anvil. And I don't have the iron to make an anvil. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just throw these in here. Um, and I guess we'll go down the mines anyway, because I need to get gunpowder from creepers. And that's like the easiest place to find them. Um, and then I guess while we're down there, we'll also grab a little bit more iron too. All right. What a night that was. So we're back. We've got the iron now. Uh, there's a little bit more smelting down. Uh, and I think we should have enough gunpowder for, like, a decent amount of just normal fireworks. We shouldn't be going too far. I know that lush caves are pretty common, so I'm not really too worried about finding one. That was loud. Uh, so what do we want to throw in here, then? We want the sharpness four with the knockback, right? Or do we want... Ooh, but that's got fire aspect on it. Uh, we'll, we'll take the sharpness four with knockback just solely because I feel like this is one of the only times where knockback will be super good for me because then I don't have to deal with things blowing up in my face. So we'll grab the paper for the fireworks. I think I put in one of these. I think it's this one. Yeah, there is. Oh, there's 49 iron in here. That's enough for a... Oh, no. Is that enough for a... It is. Oh, no. What? Okay, well, you know what? We have extra iron now. Okay, we're, we're restocked to some degree on iron. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Right, okay, so we'll throw that in there. We'll throw that in there. Oh, 51 and 51 perfectly. 
I don't know whether or not it'd be worth breaking them down into flight duration two. We'll just keep one for now. Uh, I'll throw these in here, and then I probably want to maybe try and get mending before we set off with the elytra. Uh, you know what? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll fly there. If we have to walk back, that's fine. Right? That's fine. I'm not. I'm not doing it. We don't have emeralds. I don't want to waste any more time trading. We're just gonna. We'll, we'll fly out. We'll fly out. Okay. Goodbye, home. It's been nice knowing you. I'll get a nice little aerial shot of you. Ah, that doesn't look too bad, to be fair. Right. Let's. Uh, let's go. Any lush things around this forest? Hello. Oh, this is a nice place. Nice little flower fields right here. I could do with picking up a few of these, but now that I know where it is, we can just nip back here later. Anything at all resembling anything to do with the Nazalia. There's surely not going to be one in the savannah, is there? <gasps> oh my god! Wait, this is... There's a jungle tree. We need the vines. Yes! Uh, I don't have any shears on me. Let me just make some. Well, this serves at least the purpose of getting vines. Our trip hasn't been completely useless so far. This means that we've at least got something from it. Was there seriously just like two jungle trees here? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah, there's literally, there was just two jungle trees. It's like a slice of jungle right here. Crazy. Ooh, you know what, though? I will take some of this bamboo right here. Actually, is it quicker with the sword? Yeah, it's significantly quicker with the sword. Okay. Take a little bit of this back. We can put it around the pond. It'll look good. It'll look real good. Ooh, we've got a ruined portal and a mangrove swamp. Lovely, lovely. Okay, well, we'll check out what's in the chest. Uh, Golden apple, I'll take it, and some terrible stuff. Okay. Damn, I'll go check out this place. Not really much I want from here other than the frogs, and I can't really get them back right now. But hey, you know what? Maybe we'll see some. <gasps> oh, wait. I know what you are, my good friend. Give me all your leaves, and then we're going down. Oh, yes. This is the best place in the world. Oh, and I hear a frog too. Couldn't really get better. Where are you, froggy? Oh, <gasps> there he is. Hello, buddy. Oh, you have friends too. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's going to be so OP to wipe out this place. Oh, my God. Look at that. Right? If I just go... Oh, wait. No, because that's... There we go. If I go here. Look. <laughs> oh, my God. It just takes chunks out. Oh, that's crazy. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I love you guys so much, but I can't bring you back. It's like a decent chunk away, and I don't even know if my elytra will get me back home, but we should be able to get somewhat close. Okay. Right. We're going down. Ooh. Amethyst geode. Not really got too much use for you. I'm not going to lie, but... Still somewhat cool nonetheless, I guess. Just to mine down straight into one. Oh, <gasps> there it is. There it is. Okay, right. So we need to remember that this is our way back up. There we go. All right. Put that down. Can I grab you? No. Okay. I don't. Oh, oh I can. <gasps> oh, my God. I can grab you. Okay, so we need as much moss as we can get our hands on. We need a whole bunch of clay. Uh, no, not clay. We need a whole bunch of azaleas. Oh, hello. And maybe some of these tall lily pads, too. I completely forgot that there's still mobs in these caves. Run! Oh my god, that's terrifying. <gasps> no, 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 no. Just eat, just eat, and we're good. Okay, right, I'm going to replace my actual food for gapples, because down here does not seem like it's pretty chill. Not going to lie. Seems like pretty much the opposite. Close call straight off the bat, but we're all good. All right, I'm going to sort my inventory out real quick, get rid of things that we don't want to bring home, and then... We shall prepare to stack up on all the goodies from down here. So I completely tore up this once lovely lush cave for all of its resources, leaving it looking pretty barren. Well, at least this segment of it. There's still like a really big chunk to the left. But either way, I ended up grabbing more stuff than I actually thought I would need. Because the cave itself isn't actually super nearby my house. And I just thought it was a safe bet to get more and not have to come back here later. Okay, so I think this should be like enough if not more than enough so what i want to do is i want to grab these real quick we'll head back up to the surface and then i think before we leave i want to grab some lily pods lily pods lily pads from the mangrove swamp if it has them i think it does all right we'll grab some lily pads and then we'll make our way back home with our severely beaten up elytra don't need too many lily pads just like maybe 20 25 it would be cool to get some frogs, but it's just not plausible at this current moment in time. But I did grab an axe a lot while I was down there. I don't know if you can notice that in my hot bar right there. But yeah, he's a yellow one, I think. Um, he seems pretty chill. So he can come back with us and chill in the pond. At least we'll have some form of life in there other than the grass. And 25. All right, beautiful. Okay, so home is that way. So hopefully we can get at least a decent chunk of the journey out of the way. I'll fly pretty fl close to the floor or I'll probably just stop flying before they run out. But yeah, all right, we're going. We're going.
we get back with literally 23 durability to spare. Okay, all right. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to sort out all of this stuff that we got from... I don't think I can put that there because it won't open. Uh, we'll sort out all the stuff we got from the lush cave. And then... Oh, I didn't grab any more mud. Oh, that sucks. Um, I think you can make it, though. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm not too worried. Um, coarse dirt will look pretty good. I probably want to add a little bit more than this, but now we want to, number one, check how much cobblestone I have, because I know that I tore through quite a lot of it. Yeah, we really don't have too much. We have 21, 64. It's really not much. So let me, let me test this out. If I put that there and that there. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Thank you. New crafting recipe for mossy cobble. Right. So we want mossy cobble, we want mossy... I don't know if you can make mossy stone, I don't think that's a thing. But we need mossy cobble, mossy bricks, mossy stairs, mossy pretty much everything you can make mossy, we need. And then we're going to build up some kind of like stone things around here. We're also going to do like a mossy frog, so it'll work as the green frog, because we've got the white and the orange one there. And then we'll do like the little stone things around the side, and I'm going to make like a little ruin area down there. But yeah, so that's what we need to do. We also need to place down some of these lily pads, so I can probably get that out of the way now, to be fair. And then one right here. There we go. Beautiful. So we do need some more sugar cane to place down the sides of it. I'm probably going to use some bamboo as well, but I might throw that behind the wall just to add a little bit more greenery to it. But for tonight, I'm going to make a checklist of all the things we need to do uh, in no specific order. And then we'll just burn through those in the following days. One of the main things we need to do like right now, pretty much, is to get a bunch of flowered azalea leaves because that's going to be one of the main parts of the wall. And we really need to pretty much make the most of that. All right, so first things first for today, I'm going to grab me some of those diamonds and I'm going to craft up a new pick and enchant it in hopes of getting efficiency four again. Oh, that'd be amazing. There we go. And the, oh, silk touch. Oof. Oof. Um, well, that'll make getting the stone easier, actually. So that's actually not too terrible. Okay, well, that works out anyway. So over here, we have the current storage chest for all the stuff we're going to need for the rest of the pond. Obviously, the like moss and stuff isn't in there, but that's in the shulker, so it's fine. We're going to need a little bit more actual stone, uh, quite a decent chunk more, actually, uh, along with some cobblestone, and then the stone bricks will come along with that as well. So I guess let's go down the mine and just absolutely clear it out. So I went and mined up an ungodly amount of both stone and cobblestone stone to use on the wall okay and that should be enough for now to get rid of the copper and coal um yeah that should do that actually should do for the whole thing there's not actually too much we need to build it's just kind of like scattering stone around so we'll grab a few of these make some more mossy cobble lovely lovely and some mossy bricks as well and then we'll throw all of that in there lovely 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 oh and also while i remember i made a um a bone meal the uh, breaker downer right up here so i put like all of my like wheat seeds and stuff like that in there and they broke it all down to bone meal so we've got 47 so we'll be able to get those azalea leaves pretty quickly as well so i might as well just go and get that out of the way real quick because that is going to take up quite a big chunk of time oh wait no I need more stone because uh, the wall, the wall's going to be really stone and cobblestone heavy. So we're going to need like more. So when it gets dark tonight, I'll just go down the mine and I'll spend the night mining as much cobble up as I can. Okay, so I'm curious. If I chop this tree down, will it give, will it just leave the normal azalea? Le no, it will not. Okay. All right. No, fair enough. Fair enough. That was a stupid idea. I don't know why I did that. All right. That'll do for the azalea farming today. And I'll spend the rest of the night mining up some stone after I've sold this away. I will need like a decent chunk more glowstone, but now that I have a silk touch pick, we can just literally decimate the nether and be just completely fine. Right. And now I guess I'll see you in the morning once this pickaxe is uh, absolutely decimated and we have an ungodly amount of stone and cobblestone. Oh, all right. So long night of mining. This is the second trip I've come back up from, and I think we should be okay for the most part. Now, we might need a little bit more of one or both, but I think this will definitely get at least this segment of the wall done and definitely all the areas around the pond that I want to scatter some stone and stuff around. So I'm going to go and get to crafting up all of the necessary blocks and then we'll get to work on actually placing them down. Because I literally just need like stairs, slabs, and uh, that's pretty much about it, to be fair. Okay, there we go. This is starting to come together nicely now. Look at this. So we've got all the little like stone ruins. We've got the stone ruins in the water. I do need to add a couple lanterns around the place. But overall, we've got the other frog set up over there looking pretty good. I might need to make a few minor adjustments to it. Maybe add a little bit more mossy cobble. But other than that... 
the uh, the actual base area for the pond is done. I do want to go around and add the... Uh, actually, I can probably just do that now. I've got these little... What are they? Like spore blossoms or something? Yeah, spore blossoms that I got from the lush cave. As well as... Where are the little like long lily pads? There we go. Big drip leaves. I want to put these around. Um, just to add a little bit more. Can I put these on top of water? Or no? Can I put them on a lily pad? No? Really? Or do they need to be on like a block maybe? No? Huh? Oh, maybe they need to be on moss? I, I I don't know. I really don't get what this wants from me. Okay, so I don't know what I can do with those then. Um, I don't know what use they're going to be for me. Can I place them? I really can't place them anywhere, can I? I think they do need to be upside down, so that might be the, uh, the issue we have here. Oh, well, either way, if they do need to be upside down or they don't need to be upside down, I, I don't really care. If we can't put them in, we can't put them in. It is what it is. And then I think to end off tonight, we're going to get this bone meal and just go around these frogs and kind of just make things look a little bit more overgrown around them. Ah, you think you can sneak up on me, buddy? I think not. Oh, well, you can't even do any damage to me. I'm not even scared of you anymore. So, work on the wall finally began on day 85 with me making a basic outline and mapping out where the actual placement is going to be. And then from there, gradually worked my way around it, adding more and more details as I went along throughout the rest of the day and the night. Because we ain't sleeping until this thing is done. Or phantoms spawn in, but until it's done. Now, by the end of day 85, I'd made some pretty good progress on the wall, but it's still not much to look at. However, it shall become beautiful soon enough. So on the following day, I made my way into the nether to grab up a bunch of glowstone because I couldn't really continue the build without it. Once I grabbed enough, I returned home and began placing it all down. Before then dedicating some time to farming out the azalea trees for their leaves, and after grabbing a few stacks of them, it was back to work on the wall for the rest of the day, placing down all the leaves and expanding the wall out and around the trade hall, as well as expanding it upwards to help block out some of the terrain behind it. And then on day 87, the upper level build continued, with me adding some flowering azaleas between the arches, as well as some lanterns. That was until I got swarmed by phantoms and decided to take a quick little nap and continued on on day 88, where I just went around adding the final little bits of detail to the wall before finishing it off and there we go that's the wall done and i've got to say it looks so so much better than i thought it would it really helps kind of isolate my little area right here make it feel a little bit more secure and really just ties everything together it's looking it's looking nice all right so now that all this wall and the pond area is done it is looking pretty amazing i'm not gonna lie i am really impressed with this one um it is missing something though it is missing just a little bit of a, a, a of color you know a little pop of color um i think we want to go around and add some some flowers around here now i know where there is a flower biome it's a little bit over oh what apparently there's a zombie dying behind my wall there's also a wandering trade around there so we'll check him out um, but I know where the flowers are. They're like over towards where we originally got like the lush cave. It's a little bit of a walk away. I don't have enough oomph in my elytra to go over there. So, oh, we got two leads too. Amazing. I see you, buddy. I see you creeping around out here. Go away. Oh, the wandering trader, I think, died. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we won't check out his goods then. Let me just grab some snacky from my uh, smoker right here, and then I guess let's set off. Ignore the lone wood that was once a tree, just standing there. <laughs> There's just sheared sheep running around out here, because they're out of the generator chunks, so they've just not eaten. Uh, <laughs> so they're just look at him. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, I sheared you like 50 days ago or something. I I'm sorry about this. The world has not been kind to you, my friend. <laughs> Look there, see, there's another one. Yeah, so it should be just over these mountains right here um, and a little bit to the right. There's also a bunch of blue flowers up there. Well, I think they're like, are they cornflowers? Not cornflowers. Um, there might be. I might be just completely wrong, but I think they're cornflowers. I'm not too sure. We'll find out. But what are you? Yeah, they are cornflowers. I was right. We'll grab a bunch of these and then... <gasps> oh, there's rose bushes up here. Okay. Oh, this is a little mini flower biome, so we won't have to go all the way over into yonder oh yeah this is perfect this is perfect all right well that saves me like a really long journey okay let me let me throw the shulker down well why have i got so much crap in my inventory man i would like some of the big purple ones but i don't think there's any around here i don't even know where they spawn to be fair there's so many of the blue ones around here look at that okay and that should do us for now that's actually not too bad i'll try and pick up some more of these uh white ones right here on the way back because we only have six and i think they look pretty cool so we'll grab some of those as well uh do we have the rose bushes yes we do right it is home time then 
Well, you know what? That was a pretty chilled out day. We didn't really do too much. Just kind of went and grabbed some flowers. Now let's hopefully get back before all the ghouls start hunting me down. I don't really want to deal with that. All right, we'll run in, we'll head to bed, and then we'll place down the flowers in the morning. All right, I just chilled in the house for a little minute then just to see if I could get everything that's going to burn to just kind of crisp up a little bit before we go out here. So I'm thinking I don't really want to do it in an order, although would that look good if I just placed one rose bush in front of every one of these, right? Like, let's see. Just place these down real quick. Um, and then this this still works, right? If I, yeah, okay, it just duplicates them. Amazing. Does that look good? I think that looks pretty good, to be fair. So I'll just grab a couple more rose bushes, and then we'll throw them down here in front of these. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. You can't really see this. It's fine. You don't see this area. It's fine. I'll block it off at some point, maybe. Uh, and then we want to grab, I'm thinking, maybe we'll do one of each flower in front. So we'll do one of these, and then one of these in front of the things like that. So we'll, we'll switch them up per thing. So we'll do there, 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 like that. Okay, how's that looking? How's that looking? Let me try and, try and get a little bit of an aerial view of it. Uh, you know what? That looks pretty good, actually. Um, and then what we'll do with the other ones, so kind of like these ones as well, we'll just go and place them randomly around just to get a little bit of, you know, randomization. Oh, well, we're out of those. <laughs> Uh, but just to get a little bit more, less order into this thing. Okay, there we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab some more bone meal when that stuff is composted down. And then we'll add a load of grass and stuff around here. As well as get rid of these torches. Maybe replace them with like the old lantern on a wall. But other than that, this is this is coming together real nice. There we go. Lovely. Uh, and while I'm at it, I'm going to get rid of this crooked tree up here as well. Be gone, stray wood. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, we've got the root of dirt, but I'm, I don't care about that. Maybe we could add some more rose bushes just kind of like following the path around like this just randomly placed i think that would look oh yeah, yeah, yeah that would look really good okay well we're gonna need a, a decent chunk more bone meal so i guess i'll just tear through a load of that moss that i brought back uh, and i guess i'll throw away these spore blossoms because then i can't even place them like can i place them in here oh so i can place them oh okay all right well i guess i'll just throw some out of my canopy then why not just throw like one here one here you know no reason not to i've got them <laughs> they add oh no they add the little particles that is pretty cool oh well i'll go throw a few around the villager house as well so we'll we'll keep these guys we'll keep these guys they're pretty cool oh my god they add particles like everywhere don't they sheesh uh i mean <laughs> they don't look amazing i'm not gonna lie but i do like the particles they add so we're keeping them all right there we go uh the path is now looking much better so I guess I can just throw some bone meal down around here too. Just to add a little bit of density to the grass and whatnot. Don't want it too much though. Don't want to overdo it. But that's actually pretty nice. Damn, I bet this place looks so cool from like a bird's eye point of view. Um, I'm not going to risk the elytra though. <laughs> that's a quick and surefire way to end all of this progress. It ain't happening. But yeah, that, that's amazing. Wow. I should build ponds more often. All right, so I'm going to go and add bone meal um, and then head to bed. So I'll just, I'll see you lot in the morning and we'll see what we're doing. Okay, so I have awoken today and remembered that I own a dog. I, I have a dog and it's stuck in the nether, so we need to go and get that. But um, yeah, here's the finished result of everything that I did last night. I kind of went around and added the azalea little baby trees all the way around because I just thought, well, I have them. They add to it. Now everything looks super, super noisy. And I think it, I don't know. I just think it works really, really well. I'm, I'm really impressed with this one. Take this deep slate and we're going to go and grab my dog finally after like <laughs> 60 days of him being stuck in there. I'll finally get him out. Where you at, buddy? Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. That's not how things work in here, my friend. We don't do that anymore. Thank you. Oof. Oh, there he is. Hello, buddy. How's it going? He's waiting for me right down here. Um, The nether portal should still be here, right? Come on. Come with me. Good. Right. Don't fall in that lava. Don't. Uh, no, stop. There we go. All right. Okay. Come here, and through we go, and through we go, no, and through we go, come on, and through we, and through we go, yes, go, go, why are you not going away, go through, what if I make you sit and then go through, can you go through now, why are you stuck in here, do I need to connect it to the outside, is that why, like, I, I don't understand, where am I, hello, um, I don't ever recall going through that, I think the house should be over here though, yeah, okay, it's right, here. What a weird place to put the portal. That was nowhere near where I put the original one. Right, will you actually be able to go through there now, buddy? Come on. Come, no! Stop! You're, this isn't your home! Yes, yes, go, go. No, why won't you go through? Why won't it work? Go there, yeah. He doesn't appear to be leaving. Go! Come with me! 
please <laughs> come with me okay well you know what he chose his fate that's uh, that's exactly what he wants to do he wants to stay in there it's not like i like tried for days to try and get that dog but it is what it is he he's staying in there i'm not dealing with it oh look, there's some bones right here is there is there a wolf hanging around maybe i can get a new dog hmm? maybe i can replace you oh i'm shouting as if you can hear me he's in a completely different dimension oh you can come through oh wait no this is the guy from earlier i was gonna say he can come through but my dog can't how are you doing buddy how are you still around you came through like so long ago how are you still knocking around buddy i think that I'm angry that my dog can't come through and you came through instead. I was going to burn you, but that really won't do anything. So I guess I'm just going to have to... I'm just going to have to do it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I could have just like... Oh, I don't think you can put them on leads, but I could have put them on a lead and had him like as my new dog. Oh, there we go. Right, two dogs. Uh, two bones. One for each dog, perhaps. Oh, maybe. Ah, oh, no, of course. You're a greedy one. Okay, well, you're my replacement dog. Come on, we're going to go check out that mine shaft that I saw, like, a year ago and still haven't been down. Right, can I? I can do this. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that wasn't fine. Oh, my God. I almost died. All right, go away, buddy. Go away. Oh, he's... <laughs> he did indeed go away. Right, so that's our destination. I can't remember if I came here or not. I know I've been, like, around this area, but I don't think I've ever been, like, actually in the shaft itself. Oh, why'd you do that, man? I don't have any... F oh, I have cooked chicken. That can probably help oh there's a cave spider spawner right there oh and he spawned like six and a creeper we're running we're running we're running we're running we're gone we're gone nope oh my god i'm gonna chase down right let me just get my shield Where, where's my shield there it is right okay hey there we go oh a chest too oh diamond let's go and the gapple yeah Ooh, perhaps what is this? Hmm? No, my dog! That dog's gonna die. Dog, come here. Uh, you should be okay now. Two chicken is enough for you. Where is this? Oh, hello, buddy. I see, yeah, I see you. You're a special kind of guy. Oh, yeah, just... Oh, you don't shoot my dog! Oi! Yeah, yeah, beat him up. Yeah! Double team him! Come on, finish him off, buddy. Come on! There we go. You've earned your chicken. Okay, and you lead to... Oh, the surface. All right, so this is... I, I still don't even remember where this is. Right, so where does this bring us out then? All the way over here. Oh, there was a ravine right here as well. Um, Was it a big one? Oh my god, it was a big... What? How did I never see that? I am so blind. I am so, so blind. <gasps> oh, I'm telling you, feather falling is the only way to live your life. Because without it, you ain't living. Ooh, at least we get a good view of how this place looks from far, though. Oh, that does look pretty cool. Look at that, man. There's so much color. Well, at least now we know that the mine shaft leads absolutely nowhere and is an absolute waste of time. Hmm. So after my very restful sleep last night, I've kind of realized that this area right here isn't very, uh, isn't very protected. It's not very protected, and we get a lot of ghoulies coming around and lurking right around here, especially around there. It's it's like a death trap over there. So what I'm thinking is I might do. A wall? Another wall. I love my walls. There's one over there. Anyways, uh, yeah, I want to kind of maybe push this back a little and do a wall coming from like the back side of my house, maybe around here to like here. I'm not going to do it like that one because that is just too big of a project and I don't need to expand that one out all the way around. So what I think I might do instead is I might do kind of like a similar thing I did in the, uh, I think it was Lucky Block, where I did like this kind of garden wall with cobblestone that was kind of looking decrepit a little bit um wasn't really too fancy but it worked pretty well so i might just kind of encase things in with with one of those walls so i don't need to push it back like an insane amount uh this shovel uh, this shovel should be fine it, it, it'll it'll last for this wall and then i kind of want to connect it maybe to here um things can probably still get in if i do that but it should be okay so it's just get kind of like a layout for it and then we'll we'll go from there so i'll keep switching it up between stone and cobblestone and maybe even a couple stone bricks in there i don't know but i kind of want it to go around like this and then maybe we'll bring it in here go across a couple yeah kind of something like that and then we'll add like some stairs and slabs on top to try and kind of make it look a little bit jankier i think i might want to bring it up maybe one more level or with the stairs uh, the stairs might kind of work you know if i just kind of do that yeah that'll work that'll work pretty well how does that look uh ooh, um yeah that 
doesn't look too great at all, actually. That looks pretty bad. Um, okay, well, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. We'll just, we'll just remove this. We'll just get rid of it all. Yeah, that was that was a terrible design. I don't know where that came from. I banished this thing back to the abyss where it came from. Oh my. Maybe I will just, you know, do the same design at least for that side. So then we block off the, like this side of the house as well. Um, and then kind of, we could just leave that area open and just light it up. Maybe put something there at a later date. I don't know. But I think it, it would probably be wise to do kind of the same design as we have here. Only thing that worries me is the fact that I think I may run out of stone pretty quickly. So, yeah, I guess it's wall building time again. Now, I'm not actually going to go and walk you through this step by step again, because you've already seen that. It's the exact same process with me building it up gradually and stopping off on occasion to restock on stone. And that's pretty much it, copy-pasted from the previous wall. However, instead, I'll tell you that I've recently actually just got a new kitten, and she is legitimately insane. She just constantly follows around one of my other cats and harasses them, and it's been quite the experience. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little cat segment of the video. They're pretty cute. I hope you enjoyed. But anyways, cats aside, let's get back to it. By the end of day 95, once again, the wall was done and it came out looking really, really good. Although I did admittedly end up expanding it out a little bit further than I was initially planning, but you know what? More wall, more nice building happening around the place. Why not? Okay, well, I'm pleased to tell you that the wall is now done and is looking very, very good, um, except the point where it just ends abruptly here, but that's... You won't ever see that unless you're looking pretty much anywhere, but that's <laughs> beyond the point. So I was like kind of planning on making a bee farm earlier. And I'm thinking now we've got this kind of little extra area in this corner. That's kind of just like a chunk of grass and it's not really doing too much for me. So we're going to head over here to the like the bees nest that's down here. And I'm going to see if there's any bees still residing around it or in it. And then we'll grab ourselves a couple of birch trees. I already see there's a couple over there. And then hopefully we can get a little bee farm up and running, which would look uh, pretty good to end things off here. Oh, and even better, there's a bee. Ah, yeah, there is. There's like three bees around here. Oh my God. Four bees. I saw one over there. Look at that. Wow. Oh, yeah. There's another, there's another hive down there. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to grab you, good sir. Oh, wait. I also need to actually like get the honey from the hive so I can make a farm, right? Do you still use this one? Any honey in here? No? What about the next one? You got any honey in here? Hmm? Bruh, get pollinated, man. I'm going to go grab some flowers for you guys, and then hopefully you guys can like actually make some honey in this ne next day so that we can actually make a bee farm. Also, just say right now, I'm so sorry for the long wait for this video. There's been a lot of stuff happening in the past few months, um, and it, it's just been a bit crazy, all right? It's just been a bit crazy. So we're chilling now, we're back, and we're going to be pumping these bad boys out. So uh, B, have flour, have more flour. There we go, right. Don't bother with me. Yeah, go to the flower. No, the flower, man, the flower. No, come back, dude. Wait, wh why are you going down there? Flowers. Go, and then go in there. Like that, all right? You suck it up and you spit it out in your hive. Do it. Are you doing it? Are you pollinating? Hello? I'm watching this bee until it until it starts going fluffy. Oh, it did it. Yes. <gasps> yes. Ooh, get some honey in there. Okay, well, I guess while they're doing their thing then um, and just kind of chilling, we'll go and chop down a couple of birch trees just to stack up on some saplings and get them planted down. <laughs> Shut up. Right, we'll get these saplings, and then we shall pop them uh, about here, here, here. Just dot them all around, you know, make this place nice and tree. Oh, we'll have to get a load of flowers too. I think, actually, no, I think I still have like a load. They might not all be in here, but I do have some. Yes, yeah, so we've got some oxy daisies. We'll throw them down. We can also probably put down a couple spore blossoms on the trees as well. Oh, and we've got the bamboo too. I completely forgot about this. I guess we could dot this around here. I don't know how good it would look with the bees, like, but, you know, bees surely like bamboo to some degree, right? I've never seen a bee and bamboo in the same room, but that's fine. We'll not overdo it with the bamboo because it can get, like, really annoying really quick. Uh, maybe even throw a little bit of moss down, you know, that'd be pretty good. Right, I'm going to go and try and find, like, the other flowers I had. I understand that I use, like, the majority of them, you know, everywhere around here, but I know that there's some left over somewhere. Oh, I found my gapples from earlier. They were chilling in this chest. I don't know why I put them in here. Hello? What? You know what? I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Okay, well, we really don't have much flower selection, but it's fine. I'll just, like, kind of grow some grass around here, too, and get that, you know, up and going. So I guess we'll check up on the bees in a little bit, but I'm going to try and see if we can put a spore blossom on this cherry, uh, cherry blossom tree. It's not cherry blossom tree. And no, you cannot. 
What about if I... <gasps> Wait, I think I have a solution to this. If I go here and I grab me some moss, right? And then I say, oh, well, this leaf isn't doing it for me. Let's get rid of you. Put a moss block there so you can, you can tell, but you can't really tell. And there you go. Boom. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of good. I like that. I like that. I like that. We'll do that for a couple of the trees around there then, but I don't want particles everywhere because they, um, <laughs> there's a load over there. There's a load over there and they just keep spreading, I think. They just get everywhere. All right, you buzzy boys. How's the honey coming along? I'm going to chill around here because I don't think that you're doing it while I'm over there. I'm not going to lie. I don't actually think I have any iron on me for the shears, but we can just run back and get it once this actually has some honey in it. Come on, move quicker. There's like four of you around here. How's that one doing? Exactly the same. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. You get that honey. Yeah. Do a little boogie while you're at it. Yeah, go on. Yeah. There's one in there. Come out. Get to work. Get working. Ooh. He, gee, he just teleported in there. Oh, my God. Enough yet? Enough? I don't know how many trips they have to do. How many trips do you have to do? I hear you buzzing around in there. Come out, man. Please. All right. I'm just going to chill here. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll be back to you with an update on the honey. If not, I'll have spent all day just standing here waiting for honey, but I, I refuse to let this go. I need it. Yeah, he's come back out. See, we're going to get some real soon. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, I've literally just gone and grabbed some shears and it is ready. So I don't want to burn you. So can you just please like get your honey and leave? Like get, get it and leave, please. I don't want to burn you. I don't want to burn you with this campfire. I had to get rid of the other one because it did burn one of them. <gasps> Beautiful, please be three. Yes. Yes, we can build it now. Amazing. We can only get one for now, but that's fine because it'll have a knock-on effect where we can just get like a bunch. Beautiful. Right, let's get this place down over there and then we'll grab the bees and bring them over to their new abode. I'll put you right here. So I'll throw a campfire underneath and then boom. There we go. All right, now time to go grab them buzzy boys. Hello, 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 hello. Right, okay, so there's one of you here. Come, come. Come to me. Come to me. I have flour. Come here. Are you going to follow me? Are you broken? What is wrong with you? The campfire broke you. Like, what? what's happening? <gasps> there we go. Right, okay. Is there any over here that I can bring back as well? Are they out yet? Like, what are they doing? Oh, they've got honey now too. Oh, I think at least. That looks like they've got honey. Okay, well, I'll bring you for now. Um, and then when this guy comes out, I'll bring him. But that'll probably be in the morning because I think they kind of like go away in the evening and then come back out in the morning. Wow. Oh, wow. The sun's actually going down right now. I don't know why I didn't notice, but we <laughs> spent like half the day waiting for that honey to spawn in. I don't know how many times they have to go back to it. I didn't count, but I think it was six. No, come back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back here. What are you doing? Why are you trying to go on the floor? Come over here. This is your new home. You live here now. Come on, look at the lovely little hive over here for you. Look at that. Wow. Look at this. This is where you're going to live now. Go in there. If I come back and you've flown away, I'm going to cry. Right, before we head to bed tonight, I'm going to get rid of this little contraption I built here because I hate it just sitting there. It's really bothering me. The original one didn't work and it's just been sat here since, so it's it's going away. It's going away. I don't need any more villagers up there. I have infinite. Ah, beautiful. There we go. All right. It doesn't look much better without it there, but you know what? It's gone now. I don't have to see it anymore. Oh, <gasps> he's in there. Yes. Okay, we have B. We only have one, but we'll get more tomorrow. All right, let's go grab the last bee from this hive if he's out, and then we'll go over to the other one. Hopefully, they're out. We'll get the honey from it, and then we can make another hive. Do I still have the shears on me? Yes, I do. Right, buddy, come on. Come on. It. Oh, I guess he wasn't in there. Um, I didn't know it had one-tapped the, the hive. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't need anything from it anyway. I don't know where that bee's gone then. They usually come out real angry if you break it. Hello? Oh, no, I forgot. It's not... It's not... I didn't... Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't even get your honey. It's still back there. All right, you're not very fast. However, I can use this to my advantage. If you guys just come over to my house, I don't have to use the flower. Come on. Come on. You're actually moving faster than you would if you weren't angry, to be fair. This is... Yeah, this works. This works. Oh, he's not angry anymore. I guess I'll get the flower. All right, come with me, buddy. Come with me. I'm just going to have to run, like, laps around this guy. Oh, there we go. Now you're both chill. Let's go. Okay, well, I don't know where the other one from that hive went. Maybe he died in the campfire. I don't know. But <laughs> these guys are chill again now. So we'll bring these back. We'll go grab that honey, make another hive, and then we're chilling. Well, they move so slow. If that witch laughs at me one more time, I'm telling you, I'm going down there. I'm going down there. Right, that's it. When I come back, when I've got my bees secured, you're going down. Not having this disrespect in my own abode. 
Okay, look at this. See, sorry about your, your your old house. I didn't actually destroy it. I just kind of stole your stuff. But now you're chilling over here. It's good. Anything to say? Huh? Anything to say to me this time? No. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. All right, where's that witch? I'm gonna I'm gonna drop lava on it. Hello? You're gonna laugh at me again? Go on, do it. Do you have any more food? Ooh, I hear you laughing. I'm just gonna pop one of these just to be safe. Um, and then you're going down. I don't know where you are, but I will find you. <gasps> I see you. Hello. All right, let's make our way down here. I don't want to go in the entrance of the cave. I'm just gonna kind of drop down. Surprise attack. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Heal through that. Yeah, go on. Heal through that. Do it. Go oh, she popped fire us. Oh. Yeah, well, go away then. Go away then. Okay, problem solved. Witch no longer laughing at me. Didn't know they could pop fire res, though. I kind of forgot about that pop. Hey, piggy. Sorry, piggy. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist the urge. Ooh, what is this place? Nice little hole down there. Did she hit me with weakness? She did. Scoundrel. I'm telling you, scoundrel. Okay, well, now that we've got our bees and now that that uh, mimicry is dealt with, we shall go and... Ch Ooh, pork chops. <laughs> it's a surprise to see them. I just set the pig on fire. Of course they're going to be pork chops. What's going to happen, man? Gave the man a lava bath. <laughs> Oh, oh god. <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding that so funny. Oh, okay, right, I've recovered. I, d I don't know why that was so funny to me. Uh, <laughs> I, how are you going, boyos, around here? You all chill, you all chill. I'm going to throw some moss down for you just to make this area look a little bit more, I don't know, bee friendly. I, I, I don't know, man. Moss just looks good. <gasps> oh, I forgot if you use that on moss, it'll... Oh, oh this is going to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. I could have just done that around the, the pond area. I'm not going to lie. That would have looked pretty good. Okay, so what I'm thinking with the bamboo is I was going to run it behind the wall. Um, kind of all the way along, but I'm not too sure if I want to do it all the way along. Maybe just around here. We'll test it around here, and then if we like it, I'll do the rest of it. Okay, well, we'll let that grow over the next couple days. I mean, it's already shooting up this stuff. Oh, oh God, there's a baby zombie. Oh, God, I don't know why that scared me so bad. <laughs> not again. Okay, we'll let that grow over the next couple days, and then we shall uh, see how it comes out. It'll probably be fully grown by the end of tomorrow. I'm, it grows so fast. Wow, okay, so taking a little step back just to look at our little area right here. I'll go on top of this church. Why did I put so many chests in here, man? Oh, my God. Oh, my days. Look at that. That would be really good as well if we... I'm not going to do it, but if we expanded the wall around to, like, here... And then this one to there as well. And then did like a little gate or an entrance way. We could even make it like pretty big. But that would look real good here. But this is... Wowee. I'm liking this. This side does look a little bit like dead in the water. Like there's not really much happening. So maybe add some grass and moss around there. But yeah. Wow. Wow. I like that. That's pretty good. So I guess while that bamboo is doing its thing. Um, I'll take down this like awful church tower thing just chilling right here because i did say i was going to destroy the whole village but didn't really need to i'm not gonna lie okay there we go church is gone there is some rubble left but it's just outside of render distance but yeah that opened it up that was like a really pointless thing to do but i said i was going to destroy some of the village so there it goes okay so let me make the second hive real quick boom boom uh we'll test if we can put them glowberries down on trees and then we'll get the hive set up as well can I place you on a tree? The answer is no, I cannot. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. I didn't want to do that anyway. It's it's okay. Okay, there we go. So we don't want to overdo it with the moss, but we want like a little amount of it. I think I've literally just turned all the grass around here into moss almost. <laughs> uh, nearly, nearly. We've still got we've still got some grass, okay? And then, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, uh, oh, why do they go so lopsided? I don't understand why they grow like that. <laughs> that looks so bad. I mean, how's it look from a distance? How's it look from a distance? It's still bad. I, I don't know. Why? Why do you grow like that? It disturbs me in like many ways. Go away. Okay, well, I guess we'll just keep them as little baby azaleas then because the big ones, <laughs> they grow a little funky. Okay, and that that's good enough. That's good enough. I was going to do something else over there, but like I can't think of anything that I want to put there. If I still had the bone meal farm, maybe I'd put that over there, but, like, it was atrocious, so we don't want that. I will, however, go and grab this blue dye and change my dog's collar color, because it's not on brand, all right? It's not on brand. Hello, buddy. Red is not on brand for me, my friend. There you go. Could have really done purple, but that's... It's close enough. 
Well, would you look at that, man? All this has come together so nicely. Just, just, oh, so beautiful. Although I see that over over there does not have any grass. Let's go fix that. I felt the disturbance in the plantology. Ooh, yeah, you know what? I really do like that bamboo coming over the wall, especially when it's like not all level. I think that looks real good. So that's exactly what we'll do in the morning. Then I'll go and grab some more of that bamboo and then uh, get it growing. I'll try and do it all the way around this one too, but that might take I might take a little minute. All righty then, let's get to work on, I guess, chopping up some of this bamboo and then placing it around the rest of it because I am in love with that look. It looks really good. I love this little like leafy bit that kind of like scales the top of it. It's really good. So we'll chop some of this down and then we'll place it around, around the rest of it. I'm trying to like make this uneven because I like the way that some go up higher than others. So I'm going to try and keep this as like janky as possible. It's going to look awful from the back, but we're not going to see the wall from the back, so it's fine. Just get to placing all these down. <laughs> this looks so bad from the back. Oh my god. <laughs> that is horrendous. But you know what? When that grows, the front will look amazing. See, this side's already kind of like unlevel, so it'll look kind of cool when we get this all down. And now we are completely out of bamboo. However, we got the majority of it done. I'm happy with this for now. Oh my god, that stuff's already growing back over there. This stuff grows like crazy. I, I don't know why it grows so quick. I guess what I can do as well is I'm going to go and make like a little sign for the dog that's trapped in the nether. Because I it just took me like a few days to get him. And I really wanted him. And then he got stuck in the nether and now for some reason won't come back out. So I'll just kind of stick this down. At his. I'm assuming this was his entry point. So I'll just put it down here and just be like, R.I.P. Nether Dog. There we go. There we go. R.I.P. Nether Dog, you are not dead, but I shall possibly never see you again. Uh, is there a zombie villager in here? Oh, I forgot about you guys. Um, hey, right, this is awkward, isn't it? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't. I I forgot the hole in the house and everything. But I, you guys look like you're chilling, so just stay in there. Stay, stay in there. There we go. All right. Well, I think that that is the base done for the most part now. So we got it done literally right at the end there. But yeah, it's looking good. I'm really happy with this one. I would have made a path coming all the way out to the village, but I never really did much with the village itself. So this will do for now, I guess. I guess what I can do for the last day then is we'll, we'll head into the nether. I'll grab, I think I've got a couple fire resistance potions left somewhere. Um, and we'll go and check out if that was a bastion that I saw like a little while ago. I think it was, but it's worth a look. Okay, so where were you, good sir? Were you over there or was it over like this side? I think it might have been over this side, like uh, over that way. I don't know. Let me... Oh, go away. I, I, I never want to deal with them. I'm just going to turn my render distance up. Hello, buddy. Yeah, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Go away. Oh, there he goes. Straight into the lava. Ooh, which one's that? I can never tell from the outside. I want it to be the one where there's the treasure in the middle. I think it's treasure room is what it's called. I, I don't know. But I hate that my least favorite one is stables. I hate stables. It's like the worst thing imaginable. Right, can I? Uh, yeah, we can go and we can go and chill down there. That's fine. That's fine with me. Beautiful. Right, moving a little bit slowly, but we're chilling. We're chilling. Okay, beautiful. It'd be nice if I could see. I'm just going to third person real quick. I hate fire on my screen. Is there a thing that connects to it? It looks like there's a little island that connects over there. So we'll make our way... I guess over to that. This could very easily spell my doom because of those things. Uh, I just completely forgot about them until I heard them grunt at me. Uh, you know what? Let's just go. We'll take a little swim. We'll take a little swim to it, shall we? Oh, I think that one is the bridge one. Because if you look up there, look, they're just chilling on it. And it looks like it could be. Oh, yeah, that's definitely that has to be, right? Those were the days indeed, my good friend. Now I'm ready to get one tapped by a uh, Mr. Brute, man. I hate going in these things, man. He can't see anything. Okay, be careful. I hear someone around these parts. Oh, are they just normal? You chill? You chill? Yeah, they're normal ones. Okay. I hear I hear a pig. Well, everything in here is a pig, but like I hear the big pig, the hoglin. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, it's only a baby one. It's only a baby one. Uh, you can go away. Go on. Be gone with you. Oh, why are you so loud? <laughs> a little scurrying away around the corner. Don't look at me like that, buddy, with your hollow eyes. Block myself in here nice and safely. Okay, nice and safely. And open his chest. Ew, stinky. I don't want that. Who lurks within here? Oh, there's a brute. There's a brute down there. How's it going, buddy? You okay? Do you get angry if I attack you? Why are you so angry, man? Simmer down. There we go. Maybe tell some bacon. I hear another one of you. Go away. 
No one likes you. There we go. Oh my god, this sounds like there's so many of them. Are they up top here? Oh yeah, you're there. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You okay? We just vibing down here. Ooh, I found the pillars. <laughs> Right, boyos. Uh, don't, don't worry about me at all. Right, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna take this. I'm just gonna take all of this. Hey, buddy. Look, chill, 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 my guy. Chill. It ain't all yours, okay? I want some of it. I want some of it. Go away. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back home. There's nothing in this place. I don't want to go any deeper because I know I'm just gonna get one shot. Besides, it, we've been in here like a little while, so. Maybe it is time for us to go home, you know? Maybe it is time for us to eject of this abode, you know? Ah, God, this is all scary! Ah, ow! Oh! Oh! Oh my God! I took damage from that! Oh, I forget you can take fall damage in lava, man! Oh, I think we got off a little bit lucky there! Feather falling coming in clutch! Oh my God! I'll, uh, I'll head back home and then see what we can get up to in our final moments here. Let's say goodbye to my dog. Well, I'd say that that was pretty perfect timing getting back with the sun going down, actually. So yeah, thank you all for joining me on this journey. I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I appreciate every single one of you for watching up to this point. But that's it from me today. So if you want to watch any more videos in the meantime, there is a playlist in the top left there of a recommended video that YouTube thinks you'll like. And in the top right, there's a playlist full of every other 100 days video I've ever made. But that's it from me. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Adios.